Tuesday from Gulfport to Clearwater and all around Tampa Bay, plus worldwide on iHeartRadio. The gloves are off. I'm playing hardball. It's fourth and 15, and you're looking at a full court press. You're tuned into the voice of the Tampa Bay sports fan. You're going to like this guy. He's all right. He's a good fella. He's one of us. Buckle up. Because you're on the drive with t Crass. Afternoons on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Welcome aboard on a Tuesday afternoon here in Tampa Bay. It's The Drive with t Crass, Tom Crass, Nikki. Good afternoon, Tampa Bay. Great to have you with us as we take talk to you about the world of sports all the way up until 530. And then it's Rays baseball right here. On your home of the Rays, 95.3 FM AM 620. Don't forget to download the iHeartRadio app. It's absolutely free. Crystal clear reception through the app. It is awesome. You could also download podcasts of The Drive through the iHeartRadio app, which is fantastic in itself. And you could watch the show. Don't forget to do that because you can benefit from it at Facebook Live, also YouTube, TV, and Twitch at 953-WDAE. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. You'll want to watch our show today and throughout the week. Look, you'll want to watch it all the time, especially since we've got a prize attached to it. Drive Night Out tickets will be awarded again here today. We gave away a pair of yesterday. We're going to be giving away a pair of tickets all week long to join yours truly in a suite for the Rays game against the San Francisco Giants on Friday, April the 12th. So you're going to have to be watching the stream throughout the show, especially a little bit later on where we're going to be filling in the blank. And the same deal as yesterday. I'm going to hold up the keyword on a cue card. And once you see it, when you call Chris Mathis, if you're the first person to successfully relay what that keyword is, you're going to join me in a suite for the Rays Giants game. Again, drive night out tickets. We're going to do this one Friday night every month throughout the course of the season where we're going to have a listener night for all the wonderful listeners out there to join us in a suite for a Rays game on a Friday night where they, you know, they're wearing the Devil Rays uniforms or Randy Land and everything else. So we're going to do that a little bit later on in the program. At the bottom of the hour, Zach Littell, Ray's starting pitcher, will join us. So, how did he think? Well, write right it down, Kevin Cash, because he's he's one of the very few starting pitchers who's doing anything so far. Him, Savali, Eflin, who got bombed in the opener, he's going to go tonight. Hopefully, he can kind of turn things around against a very good Texas Rangers team. But Zach Littell will join us at the bottom of the hour. Can't wait to talk to him. We talked to him last year, and he seems like a really grounded, mature young man. He's bounced around. He's been with four teams throughout the course of his career. He's going to go Friday at Colorado. That's a 4-10 start. We're not going to be on the air Friday, by the way, for the drive because of the Rays game in Colorado. That's the Rockies' home opener. But we're going to get his thoughts on... His first star last week against Toronto, the star Friday, about what his workout regimen was like in the offseason and whether or not it mirrored, you know, the one that was incorporated by Randy Rosarina. And what about this Rangers team that stuck it to the Rays last night? How much of a revenge factor are the Rays carrying with themselves in this series? against the Texas Rangers. So we're going to talk to Zach Littell. We got fill in the blank, drive night out tickets. We'll take you up until 530, and then uh, it's intentional walk with Ronnie Lane coming your way. What? Intentional walk, man. Pass ball works a little bit better. Yeah, pass ball. I'll give you a pass ball. All right, it's time for the opening drive. Start the engine. Gas to the floor. Here's the opening drive. So the Rays are two and three, and judging by the comments that I saw last night on social media and again this morning and this afternoon, it just feels like everyone is like very pessimistic on this Rays team. Why? We played five games of a 162-game season. 
Now, granted, there are some things that the Rays need to clean up. There's no question about it. And we're going to get into that here on the drive and throughout this broadcast. But I, I'm just a little surprised as to how some people are just kind of counting the Rays out. And I told you guys last week, you know, right before the series opener and the home opener, the season opener, you know, when you start doubting this team, I mean, they're playing rope-a-dope with you. They're going to come off the ropes like Muhammad Ali and deliver an overhand right and send you to the canvas. Again, doubt the Rays at your own risk. I wouldn't. And, yeah, they don't look great right now, and they've got a payroll that's pushing $100 million, something that's never happened before with this franchise, at least with the Sue Thurberg era. But this is not a team that you should be doubting at this point. Baseball is a game-to-game -game type of deal. You lose one night, okay. The great thing about baseball is you got a game the next night. Now, with that being said, right now, as we speak on April the 2nd, the Rays are not in the Texas Rangers' class. I think you can make that assumption right now. The Rangers are... The defending champs for a reason. They have a tremendous lineup. They've got deep pockets. As you saw them do last year, they can go out and buy anything they want. Oh, we signed Jacob to grab He gets hurt. We're going to go out and get Max Scherzer. We're going to go out and get Jordan Montgomery. They don't care. Finances are the least of their concerns. They've got the regional TV deal. They're in a big market. The Rangers are going to go on and get whomever the hell they want to get. They spent $500 million two years ago in the double play combination of Marcus Simeon and Corey Seager. And it paid off. They won the World Series last year. And it started right here in Tampa Bay. And you're going to hear about it from Zach Littell when he joins us at the bottom of the hour. I mean, that is where their World Series journey began they took a cross-country flight. They were in the Pacific Northwest. They had to come all the way down here to Tampa Bay, if you remember, for that wild card series. They kind of barely squeaked in, winning 90 games. The Rays were a 99-win team. And then that game one was such an atrocity. The offense was offensive. The Rays played like their worst game. They looked like the bad news bears in the field. And then they got swept out. Game two. Did not go much better. And the Rays went quietly into the night while Texas was galvanized by the fact that they came here, put it on the Rays. You know, they went on this incredible run, not losing a road game, and won the World Series. You got to give them all the credit in the world. You would think that that would maybe, just maybe, give this team a little bit of a jolt and hopefully you know, they would come out with some sort of passion, with some energy. You're playing at home. The guys who knocked you out of the playoffs are on the other side in the other dugout. And, of course, it didn't work out that way. Ryan Pepio, for as good as he was in spring training, he went out there last night, couldn't find the plate. I think he was trying to throw a circle change to Josh Young in the first inning, and Boy, oh boy, that did not go well. It was right over the heart of the plate, and he took it out. Pepio, after the game, he talked about how rough that first inning was, both for him and for the Rays. The Rays fell behind 3 nothing, and they never recovered. Here's Pepio after the game on that opening inning. First inning, obviously getting two free passes to start the game, not what you want to do. Tried to bow my way out of it and left the pitch up, and um, Josh Young hit it out pretty far, so... <clears throat> Obviously, don't want to be in those situations and put the guys behind pretty early. So, um, just tried to battle my way back the rest of the game. And it was an uphill battle for him. It was an uphill battle for the Rays. Their offense was not very good yesterday. They didn't wake up until later on in the game in the seventh inning where, you know, Palacios hit the home run and then Siri hit a two run homer, kind of got him back in. And then David Robertson came in, former Ray, and just kind of shut things down after that. And then for good measure, a couple more runs were added on in the ninth inning off Phil Maton, the free agent acquisition, who played for the Houston Astros, by the way. And here's where things got hairy in the ninth inning. Phil Maton comes along. Don't forget, 
Astros and Rangers, they had a heated rivalry last year. And now here's Phil Maton, who used to be with the Astros. Now he joins the Rays. And then he plucks Adolis Garcia, who, by the way, homered earlier in the night. And then he plunks Josh Young, who, by the way, homered in the first inning of the game last night and breaks his wrist, by the way. You feel terrible about Josh Young. So here comes Phil Maton. He hits back-to-back hitters. Garcia was none too pleased, by the way. And then he hits Young. The two guys who homered last night end up getting plunked by a former Astros reliever now pitching for the Rays. I tell you, I was on social media last night. All these Ranger fans were irate. They are outraged. Look at this guy. He used to pitch for the Astros. He had it out for us, and now he breaks Josh Young's wrist. What are we going to do? We need retribution. We want our pound of flesh, yada, yada, yada. And I get it. Look, Young's going to be out for several weeks with the broken wrist, and nobody ever wants to see that happen. But, you know, if you watch the pitch, it just kind of tailed inside on him, and Young decided to swing for whatever reason. And in the process of swinging, the ball hits him right in the wrist and breaks his wrist. I don't think Phil Maton is trying to hit anybody. He's not trying to hit Garcia. I don't think he was trying to hit Josh Young either. He was just wild. And after the game, Phil Maton was asked about that little sequence where he hit two batters back to back. And here was his response, Phil Maton of the Rays from last night. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I, it's... Um... You know, for me, it's like the last month. I feel like I've had a, I've done a really good job of refining my delivery, and uh, you know, repeating um, it and executing pitches. Um, you know, for me, I've been doing this for for a while now, and the, um, you know, I, I can live with giving up runs and all that, but the fastball misses and uh, you know, hitting guys in the hands like that's unacceptable to me. It's unacceptable for him, and I don't think he was throwing at anybody. However, the facts are the facts. Those two guys homered. And then they both got hit back-to-back by a guy who used to pitch for the Astros. And I tweeted this last night, and you better be ready. Because revenge is coming. And you can argue until you're blue in the face about baseball and the unwritten rule and everything else. You hit two of our guys, we're going to hit one of your guys. Now, it may not happen tonight. It could happen tomorrow afternoon. But rest assured that I believe that the Rangers will pay back the Rays for what happened last night. Pay very close attention tonight. It could happen early in the game. I know Andrew Heaney's on the mound for Texas. Zach Eflin will go for the Rays. But be mindful and watch for Randy Rosarino or Yandy Diaz. If I'm the Rangers, if I'm Heaney, look, I'm looking for some respect for my teammates Two guys got hit. One guy had his wrist broken. So why don't you take a wild guess as to what will take place next? Rays have to be careful because I do think, and it could happen tonight, could happen tomorrow. It kind of depends on circumstance and situational baseball and where you're at. But I think Yandy Diaz and Randy Rosarina specifically have to be on the lookout because I think one of those guys is going to get plunked. Whether you agree with it or not, it's going to happen. And it may very well happen tonight. So that's something to keep an eye on. 888-546-4620. That's the phone number. If you want to discuss it, 82945 on the Bartow 4DA text platform where standard message and data rates do apply. And then you got Zach Eflin going tonight. And look, first time through the lineup against Toronto, he was dominant last week. In the season opener. And then, second time through, yeah, Toronto started to line him up, square him up a little bit. None more so than George Springer. He was the first batter of the season. He lined out the short, if you remember, against Eflin. And then the next time up, he was ready. And he knocked one out of the park, and that got the Blue Jays going. It was not a great outing for Zach Eflin, who... Will not get a breather tonight against this Rangers lineup, which is very good. And I would say, look, this isn't like a do-or-die start necessary for, for Eflin. 
But in order to erase what happened in the opener, the Rays need Zach Eflin in a big way. He won 16 games a year ago. And as Andy Free told us last week when we had him on, the Rays were 23-8 and eight in games started by Zach Eflin a year ago. So far this year, they're 0-1. You don't want it to become 0-2. And yeah, two and four is not a death nail if they lose tonight, but you want your ace to go out there and stop the bleeding. That's what aces do. And the Rays have lost two games in a row in which they've allowed nine runs in each of those games where the pitchers are just issuing walks like it's, you know, nobody's business. Zach Eflin has to go out there and put a stop to it tonight, now. You want to be the ace? You're making $11 million? You're the guy that's got to go out there. Give me six innings. Give me two runs. Give me a 5-3 to three Rays win. That's exactly how it has to go down tonight if the Rays are going to get back in this series. If the Rays are going to even their record at 3-3, three and three, Zach Eflin has to go out there and get it done, plain and simple, against his really good lineup because the Rays need to see that from him. They do. You're the ace. Go out and show it. And if you're Zach Eflin or Zach Littell, and we'll talk to Zach Littell in less than 15 minutes, or Phil Maton, who's hitting everybody in sight, here's the one thing you cannot do if you're a pitcher of the race. Stop walking, guys. Stop. You want a surefire way to lose games against really good hitting teams like Toronto and Texas? Keep walking, guys. In the five games so far, 26 walks. Last night, seven walks issued by Rays pitching. The night before that, eight. The Rays have walked 15 guys in the last two games. It's no wonder they gave up 18 runs. You can't do it. And the way this offense is going so far, I mean, a couple of guys are doing well. Some other guys weren't able to kind of pull their weight. What about Yandy Diaz last night? I mean, we were singing his praises, both he and Randy Rosarina. They go into the game hitting 357. And then Yandy went 0 for 5 last night with three strikeouts. My goodness. Go back and look at his game log from a year ago. Go find a game where Yandy Diaz went 0 for 5 with three strikeouts. You may not find one game last year in which he did that. He had 330, led the American League in hitting. He was fantastic. Last night, 0 for 5, three strikeouts. The first three guys in the batting order, the three guys, as I mentioned yesterday, that have to carry this Rays team. Yandi, Brandon Lau, Randy Rosarena. Yeah. Not great. Last night, 0 for 11 combined, those three guys in particular. And then we were looking at the lineup, if you remember, yesterday. <laughs> And I'm like, wow, the first three guys, I mean, those are the heavy hitters. And then, like, Rosario is batting cleanup, and then Palacios, and then Curtis Mead. Siri, you know, he had a home run. He had a couple of hits. But once you get past the first three guys in the Rays lineup, yeah, you could deal with the other guys. And that's exactly what Dane Dunning did, and he was fantastic. And now the Rays have to respond. You got a lefty on the mound in Heaney. I think that plays into the Rays a little bit because your best hitters are righties. Diaz, righty. Rosarena is a righty. Ahmad Rosario destroys left-handed pitching. So I'm somewhat confident. I think Zach Eflin's going to pitch a better game. But as an ace, you need to go out there. You need to do it. You need to show it to me. You're a 16-game winner from a year ago. You want to be the ace? Go beat the defending champion Texas Rangers, who might have tombstones in their eyes tonight after what happened last night in that ninth inning. So you might see tensions rising tonight at the Trop. Of course, we're going to be watching it very closely. We'll talk to Zach Littell coming up in a few minutes about the Rays may be wanting to pay back the Rangers for what happened in the playoffs from a year ago. But tonight, I think it's the Rangers looking to pay back the Rays based on what happened in the ninth inning last night. So I think you might have an interesting scene at the Trop tonight. We can talk about it with you. Do you expect one of these Rays hitters to get plunked? 888 
on the Bartow 4 DA text platform at 82945, where standard message and data rates do apply. We've got Zach Littell coming up in a matter of minutes. We've got fill in the blank coming up at 4.30 as we'll take you up until 5.30. And by the way, like we did yesterday, you got to watch fill in the blank on the stream because at one point during fill in the blank, I will hold up the keyword. And when you see the keyword, you got to call Chris Mathis at 888-546-4620. The first person to correctly call in and identify the keyword, you're going to get a pair of tickets to join me in a suite on a Friday night. It's Friday, April the 12th. Rays against the Giants over at the Trop. Randy Land, the Devil Rays uniforms. You can hang out with us. Unlimited food and drink. No alcohol, unfortunately, in the suite. Oh, you got, nice. uh, yes, thank you, Tyler. You got to get that on your own. But you got to watch Film the Blank on the stream on YouTube TV, Twitch, and at Facebook, 953-WDAE. Like and subscribe. I'm going to hold up the cue card with the keyword. You correctly call it in, and you get the suite tickets. It's a beautiful thing, but you have to be watching the stream in order to do so. Great to have you with us on the drive. Could it be payback night at the Trop tonight? We're going to talk with Zach Littell, who had a really good outing last week against Toronto. Is he ready for a bigger workload? How do the Rays feel about the Texas Rangers after what happened in the playoffs from a year ago? Zach Littell, Rays starting pitcher, will join us next here on the drive. You're on the drive with t -Crash. Guys, whether it's an injury, accident, product liability, or medical malpractice, my guys over at Catania Catania, they've got your back. They've had your back for the last 30 years. They work on a contingency, which means there's no cost to you unless they win. And they're always standing by to take your call 24-7, 365. So call them. Tell them I sent you. 813-222-8545. That's 813-222-8545. Or get a free evaluation of your case online at Catania and Catania.com. Because over at Catania, Catania, they put families first. Office Tampa, not attorney spokesman. Today, Tampa Bay Rays baseball is live on WDAE. Deep down the line to the corner, home run. Don't miss any of the action as the Rays take on the Texas Rangers. Coverage starts at 5.30. On the home of every Rays game all season long. 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Streaming across Tampa Bay on the iHeartRadio app. From the Safe Touch Security Traffic Center. WDAE traffic update. Seeing delays in Tampa southbound 275 from before Dale Mabry to just before the Howard Franklin Bridge. Only the right lane is getting by just past the Kennedy Boulevard overpass. It's all due to an earlier vehicle fire. They're clearing that scene, but again, traffic jammed up from before Dale Mabry. Also, we're seeing delays southbound 275 approaching I-4. Crash on westbound MLK near I-75 in the right-hand lane. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Jackson Hewitt. It matters who does your taxes. Why are people saying Hugh yeah to Jackson Hewitt? When you switch to Jackson Hewitt, they will beat what you paid last year on tax prep. Even if you filed online. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at JacksonHewitt.com. Hey, it's Brett from Bull Oak. If you're ready to put a stop to your erectile dysfunction, then call Bull Oak today, Tuesday, April 2nd. Bull Oak uses the most advanced form of acoustic wave therapy. This technology is backed by over 50 clinical studies, including research from Cambridge University. Our treatment gets to the root cause of erectile dysfunction by repairing blood vessels and increasing blood flow, all without the need for pills or the worry of side effects. Call us now and you'll qualify for the assessment, exam, even the blood flow ultrasound totally free. This is over $800 in value. And today only, for those who call in the next two minutes, new patients will receive their first treatment completely free. This is worth hundreds of dollars, but call today and it's totally free. Call 813-219-1919. That's 813-219-1919. Call Bull Oak now to qualify. This offer ends today, Tuesday, April 2nd. 813-219-1919. 
The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics. Hey guys, T. Kraz here from my guys over at QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management we've seen in decades. It's called regenerative medicine, guys. So if you're tired of those achy joints, if your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love doing, you got to call my guys over at QC Kinetics. I did. They fixed my elbow. They fixed my knee. They can do the same for you. No surgery, no steroids, no drugs. They are a thing of the past. Regenerative medicine is where it's at, and they can deliver lasting results. They can use your own body's biologics to restore and repair damaged joint tissue, and that's what QC Kinetics will do. So get your life back, guys. Call them. QC Kinetics. Get a free consultation. This is a revolutionary approach that can get you going again with no downtime. 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000. QC Kinetics, located in Bradenton, Lakeland, St. Pete, and Brandon. Tell me your boy T-Crash sent you. Hi, I'm Kamiko, the founder of Miko's Hot Chicken. When we started our family restaurant, we were also raising a family. But let me tell you, it wasn't easy. Our Chase Inc. car was there to reward us on all of our business needs. Now we have a thriving location, and we're hungry for more. With the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card, you can earn unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase, so your business can go from here to possible. Chase for business. Make more with yours. Real business owners compensated for their participation. Cards issued by J. P. Morgan Chase Bank and member FDIC. Subject to credit approval. Terms apply. WDAE with What's Up Tampa Bay. Bowl with Crash and AJ at 98 Rocks. Bowling for balls at Pin Chasers on April 13th. For tickets and more info, visit 98rock.com. Join us April 5th through 7th at Armature Works in the Heights District for the WFLA News Channel 8 Outdoors Expo and Boat Show. Admission is free all weekend. Visit WFLA.com slash Outdoors Expo for more details. Stay on top of everything going on at 953WDAE.com. Tax Talk with Straight Talk. You give and you give. This tax season you get with Straight Talk Wireless. You get a reliable 5G network and unlimited data and a new Samsung Galaxy A15 for just $99. So you can give your janky phone to your kid. Good talk. Switch to Straight Talk for plans starting as low as $25 a line per month for four lines. Find us at Walmart and StraightTalk.com. For network management practices, visit StraightTalk.com. Device offer ends 41424. In-store activation on single silver unlimited plan or higher required. Family plan discount with four lines all on the silver unlimited plan. Taxes and fees apply. Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors. Visit TrajanWealth.com. For more information about contests on this station, go to 953WDAE.com slash rules. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Partly sunny and breezy this afternoon, high 85 degrees. Partly cloudy overnight, slight chance of a shower, low 72. Tomorrow, very rainy with strong winds and possibly severe storms, high 79. This report is sponsored by Summit Racing Equipment. Summit Racing is the parts you need to keep your truck rolling right. From custom grills to tonneau covers and everything in between. Shop SummitRacing.com. Use promo code radio for ten dollars off an order of one hundred dollars or more exclusions apply offer ends april 14th 2024 stuck in traffic signal cutting out get online download the free iheart radio app you can take wdae and your home for sports music talk and podcasts all in one app free never sounded so good presented by the law offices of anna jar and levine accident attorneys call 1-800-747-FREE that's 1-800-747-3733 Broadcasting live from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, we are Tampa Bay's home for sports and Pulse Nation for over 20 years and counting. 95.3 WDAE and the mighty AM620. And the payoff pitch coming into Vogelbach. Swung on and missed strike three. Slider down and in and a um. pump of the fist. For Zach Littell as he throws six shutout innings in his first start of the year. Middle of the sixth, the traffic on a field. Raise three. That was a terrific first outing for one Zach Littell on Saturday. He beat the Blue Jays. And next up, he goes to the Mile High City in Colorado on Friday for start number two. That's the Rockies opener, by the way. When the Rays go out there on Friday. Welcome back. It is 3.30 on your ride home. It is The Drive with T. Kraz. Chris Mathis on the other side as well. You on the phones, 888-546-4620. That's the phone number. You can text in your thoughts as many of you clowns have done at 82945. Look at that guy from the A13. What a clown. T. Kraz, you have a face for radio. I can't believe how much you keep trying to drive tra- traffic toward the video streams. Opinions vary, sir. 
I'm a very handsome man. And we also do TV, too. You know, they don't put ugly people on TV. They put ugly people like you, you know, in the backseat of a squad car on TV. That's the only way you're getting on TV. But, you know, they don't put ugly people like me on TV. They just put people like you on TV for all the wrong reasons. No, 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 no. You insulted them a little bit. I insulted them a lot. How was that? Was that good? Yeah, no, that was really good, Tom. Uh, Devin in Sarasota. Uh, met us over at Oak and Stone. He texted in, you're not surprised we have a bunch of crybaby fans if we even allow a run. I don't know about that, Devin. It's just that, you know, fans are passionate. I get it. But we're five games into it. The Rays are two and three. So what? And I know the Yankees and their fans, you know, they're, they're strutting around like, like they've won another world championship. Give me a break. Yeah, they're off to a great start. Yeah. The New York Yankees. The New York Yankees. <laughs> great. You know, the sweep in Houston to open the season was very impressive. Juan Soto's been very impressive. But they don't have their ace, and they're not going to have him for at least a couple of months, it sounds like. That's big. You know, you're four or five games into the season. You got a long way to go, pal. This ain't a sprint. This is like the New York City Marathon, 26, 27 miles. You know, you, you probably went like 30 feet across the Verrazano Bridge. There's a long way to go in the New York City Marathon. You're not even across the Verrazano Bridge. And you think you're the next biggest thing. You don't have your ace. Just remember that. See how far the Yankees go without their number one. 888-546-4620. Pitching's the name of the game. The Rays have to cut out the walks. That is big. Zach Eflin has to do that tonight. He'll be opposed by the lefty Andrew Heaney. So are the Rays looking to pay back the Rangers over what happened last year in the playoffs? Maybe the Rangers are looking to pay back the Rays after what happened last night. Let's go to the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network DA hotline. Learn more at cfbhn.org. He had a great opening start to the season against Toronto. His next start is on Friday. Ray's starting pitcher, Zach Littell, is with us here on The Drive with T. Kraz. Zach, it's T. Kraz here. How are you, man? Not too bad. Thanks for having me, yes. And thanks for being had. So let's talk about your first start of the season last week against Toronto. Six innings. You didn't allow any runs, a couple of walks, six strikeouts. So what did you do well in that start on how you were able to keep guys off balance and, you know, based on what you did last week and how that can carry over for, forward for you? Yeah, I think just trying to get in there and attack guys. Um, kind of been the, the goal even since last year, I guess. But especially early on in the year, we don't really want to dance around and just want to get get all my pitches over the plate, compete with guys in the zone, and uh, hopefully kind of let stuff take care of itself. And you were certainly able to do that. How do you know when you're going to have a good outing? For a lot of the guys, and you guys are creatures of habit, is it your bullpen day or is it warming up before the game? Because I'm sure you've had outings where you're in the bullpen before the game and you're like, okay, I feel pretty good about what's about to happen. And then you go out there and for whatever reason, lack of execution. But I'm sure you've had some days where you don't feel that great before the game, but you get on the mound and you certainly get into the groove, maybe with the adrenaline pumping. So how do you know when you're going to have a good start or not? Yeah, I think it's kind of like once you get on the mound. I've definitely had days where you, you know, you're you really sharp in the bullpen and then you get out there and it's not that great or, or vice versa. But you kind of get through that first inning where you're, you want to establish your, your stuff over the plate. And then, um, after that, you can kind of tell, you know, how your body's reacting, how your how your stuff's coming out, how your command feels, and then uh, really by the way the hitters are are you know taking pitches or swinging the pitches or whatever they however they react, it really kind of tells you where you're at, and that just kind of gives you a little bit of confidence. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a good feeling when you realize it's going to be a good day. Yeah, well, no question. And hopefully, you had a good one last week. You'll have another good one on Friday when you go to Colorado. And we're talking with Ray's starting pitcher Zach Littell. We'll get into the Rockies in a matter of moments. Last year, you threw 90 innings. Do you have a number in your head about how many innings you like to go this year and what the Rays have told you, what they're expecting out of you in that department? Yeah, I don't. I mean, there hasn't been an explicit number discussed. Um, I think the goal is to go out there and 
and try and get a full workload as any starter in the league would get. Um, personally, I mean, whether it's, I guess it would be considered lofty, but I'd like to push 200. I mean, if everything goes well, I think my body can handle it. Um, it's been a few years, but as a starter in the minor leagues, I have a record of getting up to 150, 160. So I don't think it's out of this realm to really realistically have a goal of 180, but, um, yeah, I, I really just try and go out there every night and, and seven innings plus is the goal and whatever happens, happens. To prepare yourself for that bigger workload, did you change up your off-season regimen at all in terms of your workouts? Uh, I, I would say I just kind of like maybe honestly took it a little bit easier ramping up. Um, as a bullpen guy, you kind of got to show up to camp ready to go right away. Um, and so the ramp up is a little bit, I guess, earlier. Um, you know, you're starting around Thanksgiving and really trying to get in in game shape by mid-January as opposed to this year where I would say I really started ramping at probably the first of the year, maybe maybe like Christmas, mm -hmm. um, just to give my body a little bit more time to recover. And but from a workout standpoint, I think just making sure that my body feels strong. Um, at this point in my career, I'm not really trying to necessarily gain strength. I mean, you're always trying to get stronger, but it's it's a different kind of strong when you're young and just trying to fill out your frame. So. Um, I think just approaching it with the with the mindset of making sure that your body is going to be in a good shape physically for 180 innings, um, and for me that was focusing on recovery. Zach Littell is with us, the 28 year old race starting pitcher. So what you're telling me, Zach, is you weren't on the Randy Rose Arena, you know, bulked up uh, diet over the off season, right? Because <laughs> when you came I to, need to. I wish I did. <laughs> so when you came to spring training, you saw Randy like, damn boy, what was what was he doing in the off season? Man, oh man. Yeah, I need to get on that program. I keep joking <laughs> with with Snides, I'm going to show up looking like that one year. <laughs> But he definitely looks bigger, and, you know, between him and Yandy Diaz and your new backup catcher, I'm sure you've had a chance to get to know him a little bit, Ben Rortvet. I mean, you guys have three guys who can be professional wrestlers, looks like. Yeah, I mean, they're all they're all very fit guys, for sure. I, uh, I actually played with Ben in the minor leagues in Minnesota uh, years ago, and he's always been very, very uh, fit. But, yeah, Yandy, Yandy and Randy, if you... You see them from behind, they're almost interchangeable at this point. Yeah, yeah, they sure are. And look, you played for four teams. What makes the Rays and what they do, especially with pitchers, so unique from what you've observed? Because you've been here almost a calendar year now. Yeah, I think it's just their ability to really connect with guys and get them to buy in. And as well, they can believe in their stuff. You know, the Rays have obviously have now developed a reputation for, for bringing guys in and really allowing them to, to flourish and um I think that's just a, a product of them getting guys comfortable here, truly getting them to believe in their stuff because every guy here has elite stuff in some aspect. And so um, it makes it a lot easier when, when you have that confidence and when there's guys behind you and um, they, they definitely got a formula that's working. Ray's starting pitcher Zach Littell is with us here on The Drive with T. Kraz. Ray's and the Rangers tonight, game two from the Trop. We are your home for Ray's baseball right here on WDAE. 26 walks so far issued by Ray's pitching in the in five games so far here, Zach. So what can you attribute at that to? Is it the early season trying to chip off the rust? Is it situational? So how can you explain that if you can? Yeah, I mean... It you know, it could be a number of things. It could be situational. It could be early season, a little bit of nerves. We've got some guys who are, you know, joining a new club or still considered fairly early in their careers. But uh, at the end of the day, I don't think you'll find a guy in here that is going to come up with an excuse for it. I think we just have to be better. And, um, you know, I don't I don't expect this, this trend to continue by any means, but uh, definitely something we want to we wanna nip in the bud. And I think I speak for our entire staff when I say that. You guys have a chip on your shoulder because the defending champs, the Texas Rangers, are on the other side. They got the better of you guys last night. We all saw what happened in the playoffs a year ago. So are guys motivated by that? Yeah, I mean, I don't think anybody wanted to go out that way. You know, it's one thing to lose in the playoffs and another thing to come. And another team come into, into your home stadium and, and take two pretty clean games where we didn't play our best baseball. And, um, you know, it's, it's not fun. And then even into last night where they – they kind of came out hot, and um, I think it says a lot, though, how we played all nine innings, um, put up a few runs late. I think we just got to get going, and um, 
But yeah, I don't. I, again, I don't think you'll find a guy in the locker room that, that doesn't want to beat these guys in that two games. Well, no doubt about that. All right, your next start Friday in Colorado, and you know I did you a favor. I looked at the weather because usually in Colorado, when you go out there in the month of April, you might see snow on in some instances. Thankfully for you. It's going to be in the 70s for that start Friday afternoon in Colorado. So what can you expect there? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm not going to hold my breath. Colorado weather is traditionally a little volatile. But, uh, yeah, Colorado is always an interesting place to go play. Obviously, there's the the whole stigma of ball flying. And um, I'm, I've actually gotten to pitch in Colorado quite a bit, just being with San Francisco. And I think for me personally, it's really just going in there and not letting the mental side of it get to you. You know, the game doesn't change. You have to shoot pitches. You get out. Um, if you give up a cheap shot, you give up a cheap shot. There's really no point in harping on it. So, um, you know, the theory is you execute pitches. It shouldn't really matter. So I'm going to go out there. I'm going to attack guys, um, try and get them on their heels and, and go from there. He's Ray's starting pitcher, Zach Littell. The first start went well. His next start Friday afternoon in Colorado. Of course, you can listen to all the Rays games right here in your home for Rays baseball, 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Zach, we really appreciate a few minutes of your time. Best of luck to you Friday in Colorado. We'll talk to you down the line. Thanks. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Zach Littell, really good start. His first time out last Saturday against Toronto. Didn't allow a run. And now he gets the Rockies Friday, and I did take the liberty of looking up the weather. It's going to be the low 70s, the high in Colorado on Friday when the Rays play at 410 our time. We won't be on the air Friday because of the Rays game. But then it turns colder. They better bundle up on Saturday night because the temperatures are going to be in the 40s Saturday night in Colorado for that game against the Rockies. And then Sunday afternoon, I think it'll be in the 50s or the 60s, so... The game to watch or not to watch is going to be on Saturday night. But first things first, you know, you have one Zach do a great job in Zach Littell. We need the other Zach, Zach Eflin, to do a good job tonight. You know? Jack Mayhoff. No, the, not Jack. Zach. Zach Eflin. After what happened in the series opener or the season opener, uh, he needs to come out and he needs to show everybody that, yeah, you know what? There is no McClanahan. There is no glass now. I'm going to be the guy. I need to step up and stop this two-game losing streak. And hopefully that's what this ace will do tonight. So it's Eflin against Heaney. Of course, our coverage will continue throughout the course of this afternoon on the drive with T. Kraz. Ronnie Lane's got outside pitch coming up or inside ditch or whatever it's called at uh, – well, what's it called? 530? Uh, yeah, we're talking about 530 to 6 with Ronnie and I train lane. Yeah. Even though you mother everything we do. <laughs> Not everything, Kevin Cash. All right, coming up, uh, some interesting money in Vegas. We're going to talk some bucks and some NFL. And not a whole lot of people are believing in the Buccaneers. The betters are speaking to that. Plus... Uh, not a whole lot of people are buying into one of the Bucks' rivals, too, in this NFC South. We're going to get into that as well when we come back. It's the Drive with T-Kraz on your ride home. You're locked in to the Drive with T-Kraz. You know, guys, the summer is right around the corner, and if you're looking to put in a beautiful new pool in your backyard, you got to call on my guys over at Pool Perfection, Tampa Bay's most trusted pool builder. They build the best pools in Tampa Bay, and they can do it in weeks, not months. All you got to do, go online, check out their website, poolperfection.com. They just redid it. You can see the beautiful work that they've done all across the Tampa Bay area. Thousands of happy customers. Go online. You're going to see countless five-star Google reviews. That's how they do it over at Pool Perfection. You need a trusted pool builder, you need Pool Perfection. So if you're in the market for a new pool or you want your current pool remodeled, call Pool Perfection now. Tell them you heard about it on the radio from your guy T-Kraz here on The Drive on WDAE. Call them. 727-518-POOL. That's 727-518-7665. Pool Perfection, Tampa Bay's most trusted pool builder. Play ball! The most complete rundown on all things baseball across Tampa Bay and around the majors. It's the Inside Pitch with Ronnie Lane. Swing and a drive. Deep to left. Go! 
presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. 60 minutes before every weekday race game. Right here on the radio home of every race game in 2024. 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. The home of the race. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. WDAE. Traffic update. A wreck on northbound 75, north of 674, but before Big Bend Road, it's in the left-hand lane and traffic slow through here. Earlier, vehicle fire on southbound 275 before the Howard Franklin Bridge, all cleared up, all lanes are open. Traffic getting back up to speed from before Dale Mabry towards the bridge. In fact, no delays on the Howard Franklin Bridge towards Pinellas County. Don't head towards Gandy Boulevard. There's a crash on the St. Pete side right before Derby Lane. That's blocking a couple lanes. Traffic jammed up from the bridge. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Lowe's. Powered through your spring at Lowe's with Ego, the number one rated brand in cordless outdoor power. Buy one select string trimmer, leaf blower, or mower kit. Get one select 56V battery free. Valid through 4-3. While supplies last, selection varies by location. QC Kinetics announces the arrival of National Medical Director Dr. Mitchell Scheinkup, an acclaimed orthopedic surgeon with two decades of experience and extensive research in regenerative medicine. I was one of the first orthopedic surgeons to do it, and at the same time, I integrated clinical research that's resulted in several publications that are really directing the future of regenerative medicine. I was drawn to QC Kinetics after I reviewed their protocols, and everything they were doing is consistent with my my own approach. Today, Dr. Scheinkup leads the entire team of medical professionals at QC Kinetics, taking this exciting medical breakthrough to a whole new level. What we are doing at QC Kinetics is transforming lives. Get lasting joint pain relief. Call QC Kinetics now for your free consultation. This is the future of medicine. Call QC Kinetics 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000. Locations in St. Pete, Lakeland, Brandon, Bradenton, and Tampa. 813-305-3000. When something happens to your kitchen and you say, This is ludicrous. You get having trouble? Don't panic. Don't be alarmed. You need to file a claim? Holla at State Farm. That's right. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. State Farm, Bloomington, Illinois. By now, you've heard all of our ads. America's largest injury law firm. It means that when you hire us, you get a legal army. When it comes to law, size matters. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Hi, this is Earl Ron, president of New South Window. New South is having a one-day factory sale. This Saturday only in our factory showroom. 40% off energy-efficient windows and patio doors. One day only, this Saturday from 9 till 4. Please visit us at NewSouthWindow.com. Guys, your perfect closet starts with the right finishing touches. And right now, during the light and accessory event at California Closets, every $1,500 of design lighting and accessories you buy earns you $500 toward your custom design. Garage, office, bedroom, California Closets will give you the space that's fresh, styled, and expertly organized. To get started, visit one of their three conveniently located showrooms or visit CaliforniaClosetsTampaBay.com to book your free design consultation today. Tell them T-Crash sent you. I'm Ellie Anajar of Anajar. Anajar and Levine. Injured in a car crash? Never rush to settle with insurance companies and never settle for just any attorney. Demand Anajar and Levine. Our experienced legal team will fight to win you the maximum compensation you deserve. Call me, Ellie Anajar, for a free consultation and take back control of your life. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Main office, Tampa. Come bowl with Crash and AJ at 98 Rocks Bowling for Balls at Pin Chasers on April 13th. Featuring bowling, food, and fun. Proceeds go to the Testicular Cancer Foundation. For tickets and more information, visit 98rock.com. When something happens to your car, you might say, Well, that's just great. Oh, perfect. Awesome. How nice for me. But what you really need to say is, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. To help you file your claim. State Farm, Bloomington, Illinois. And iHeartRadio Sports Report, presented by Mark Spain Real Estate. Last season on the Choosing Sides F1 podcast, we established unequivocally that F1 is the pinnacle of motorsports. We did, but honestly, I was left with more questions than answers, Tony. I'm Tony Cameron Brown, a tech, culture, and F1 commentator. And I'm Michael Costa, comedian from The Daily Show. Join us for season two of Choosing Sides F1 and get all of the answers. All of them? All of them. Listen to Choosing Sides F1 on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts.
This report is sponsored by Taco Bell. Taco Bell is introducing the new Cantina Chicken Menu with the new Cantina Chicken Burrito, Quesadilla, Bowl, and Tacos. Featuring their new slow-roasted chicken. Try the new Cantina Chicken Menu today at a participating U.S. Taco Bell location while supplies last. Contact store for participation, which varies. Partly sunny and breezy this afternoon. High, 85 degrees. Partly cloudy overnight. Slight chance of a shower. Low, 72. Tomorrow, very rainy with strong winds and possibly severe severe storms high 79 local sports talk on your lunch hour jay and zach tomorrow at noon yeah 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 now back to the drive with t crass on wdae and streaming live on alexa and the free iheart radio app i feel more comfortable because we have a solid quarterback that's played you know after ah. tom left you don't we didn't really have a guy that's played any snaps that stepped up in there but having gone through a year with him knowing we have a quarterback at that position and it's solidified you feel more comfortable that way but we still got to win games Oof. that's todd bowles buccaneers head coach speaking at the owners meetings in orlando about how the buccaneers are in better shape now at this time than they were a year ago at this time and he's right there's no doubt. And now the Buccaneers are coming off yet another division title win. They won two straight NFC South titles, yet the general betting public and the Vegas odds are still having this Buccaneer team trending downward, believe it or not. Welcome back. It is a drive with T. Kraz 3, 351 on your ride home on a Tuesday. Great to have you with us. Don't forget. Drive night out tickets will be had in the next hour. You have to be watching the stream for our fill in the blank segment, which is coming up at 430. And at some point during the segment, I'm going to hold up another cue card with another keyword. And the first person to call Chris Mathis to identify the keyword, you're going to get a pair of tickets to join me in a suite for the Rays Giants game Friday night, April the 12th. It's a beautiful thing. We're going to be giving away tickets Every day this week. We're not going to be here on Friday. So we're going to be giving away two tickets, two pair on Thursday. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's plan to do that. Gee. We'll double up on Thursday. So you guys have double the chance on Thursday. And we'll go until 7 o'clock on Thursday. Actually, no. Take that back. Uh, just 5.30 tomorrow. We go until 7 following the Rays game. Right. So tomorrow we're on after the Rays game around 4, 4.30 to 7. And then we got a full show on Thursday. Right? Yes, that's correct. And then off Friday. Correct. And then we're off Friday because the Rays will be in Colorado for the Rockies home opener. So uh, our friends over at sportsbetting.ag, they reported to us that they've seen a lot of money come in on the under win total. The Buccaneers had an eight and a half win over under. Now that's down to eight. Because a lot of money is coming in on the under. Is that a problem? Uh, it could be. Now, by the same token, now the Bucks are not the only team that has seen a lot of money come in on their under for the over-under win total. The Atlanta Falcons, they had a 10-and-a-half win total, which I thought was a little high, even though they got Kirk Cousins and Darnell Mooney. They have the number eight overall pick. NFL draft coming up in three weeks. Uh, their over-under win total is now down to 10. It was 10 and a half. Now it's down to 10, according to our friends over at sportsbetting.ag and their sports books. Uh, other under win totals, a lot of money coming in on the unders on the commanders, seven and a half down to six and a half. Don't forget they have the second pick in the draft. The Cowboys who have done nothing this off season. Uh, their over-under win total started and opened at 10. And, oh, now it's out actually up to 10 and a half. Really? Boy, it's a little surprising. Still a lot of talent on that team, but the Cowboys have not done much of anything this offseason. They've lost guys like Tony Pollard and Tyron Smith. I wonder if that has to do with the Eagles moving on from Riddick at the end and bringing in Devin White. No, I don't. I don't know about that. Uh, a little bit. So money's coming in on the under for the Falcons. That's why it's 10 and a half down to 10. Money's coming in on the under for the Ravens. They were at 11 and a half. Now they're down to 11. Same thing with the Chiefs. 11 and a half down to 11 because 
You got Rasheed Rice, the crazy driver there on their team. And money coming in on the under for the Steelers over under win total. They opened at eight. Now it's seven and a half. Which are the three most betted overs? Some of you are asking. Uh, number one, the Rams, eight and a half, even though Aaron Donald just retired. I find that very interesting. Uh, the Browns are the second over under win total at eight and a half. A lot of betters are hitting the over on that. And then the third one, the Cowboys. Uh, which are the three most betted unders so far? The Steelers, number one. The Commandos, number two. And then the Atlanta Falcons, at number three. So a lot of money coming in on the under on the Falcons at this point. Oof. Oof is right. But there are some who are putting bets down on the Buccaneers to go under, which is why their over under win total is now down to eight after it opened at eight and a half. Look, it's all subjective. Okay. We still have the draft in three weeks. Let's see how the draft goes. And then after the draft, you're going to see, I think, a significant shift in some of these numbers where a lot of the money, depending upon who comes out of the draft, who gets what they want, who doesn't get what they want, I think you're going to see the numbers fluctuate over the next couple of weeks. And then after the draft, I think you're going to see more of a big move one way or another. So there you have it. There's your NFL fix. By the way, Rasheed Rice, you know, the Chiefs are looking into that matter. You know, still a lot of, I don't know, speculation on which car he was driving. If he was driving a car, there was a Corvette and there was a Lamborghini. You know, I would probably guess that he was behind the wheel of the Lamborghini. Considering, you know, he's the big name NFL player at this point and he walked away from the crime scene. So there's a lot of questions that are left to be answered there with Rasheed Rice and regards to that i wonder if they'll take a wide receiver there in the first round of the draft at this point i think they will and look i think marquise hollywood brown was an exceptional move by the chiefs on a one-year deal but this is a great draft for wide receivers as we know i think you're going to see probably seven or eight go in the first round i was on here yesterday and i absolutely firmly believe that six quarterbacks will go in round one I think you're going to see a lot of receivers go in round one as well. Probably seven, maybe eight receivers. Round one's going to be dominated by quarterbacks and receivers. You're talking about probably combined 14 or 15 quarterbacks and or receivers going in round one. It's a big number. You'll see some offensive linemen. You'll see some edge rushers as well. But I think quarterbacks and receivers will also dominate Round number one. And look, if, if you're the Bucks, that's what you want to see. You want to see quarterbacks and receivers, as many of them as possible, go in the first 25 picks to push an interior old lineman maybe down to you. You know, the usual suspects that we've been talking about, Jackson Powers Johnson or Graham Barton or one of these edge rushers. Push one of them down to the Buccaneers like a Chop Robinson of Penn State. Or the kid from UCLA. I mean, that is your wish list. Those four guys hopefully drop into 26. And if one of them is there at 26, then you got a great problem if you're Jason Light. A great problem. What if it's, and I know this is a little early for Would You Rather. Maybe this is a Would You Rather for tomorrow or, you know, right before the draft. Like, what if it's, Chop Robinson and Jackson Powers Johnson. Who would you rather have at 26? Yeah, I'm doing your like work that. for you. I like that one, Tom. I am doing your work for you. I'm pulling a Kevin Cash, and I'm writing that one down. Yeah, you better. Write it down right now, you know. As you just said that, I started writing some things down. Well, Kevin Cash, you need to write it down that your ace has to look like an ace. And we're going to get into that in a matter of moments. We've got fill in the blank and your chance to win. Sweet tickets for drive night out Friday night. April the 12th, Rays and the Giants. That's coming up. Plus, might we see an act of revenge tonight? Maybe not by the Rays, but by the Rangers. I'll explain why coming up in a matter of moments. It's The Drive with T-Kraz on your ride home on a Tuesday. You're on The Drive with T-Kraz. 
So we were just talking about the Rasheed Rice incident. So whether you've been involved in a car accident, motorcycle accident, truck accident, if you've been the victim of somebody else's negligence, you got to call on my guys over at Catania and Catania. They've been doing their thing the last 30 years. They don't get paid unless you get paid. $500 million plus and counting has been recovered by my guys for injury victims just like you. So protect your rights. These are the guys you need to call. Catania, Catania. 813-222-8545. Or hit them up online, get a free evaluation of your case at Catania and Catania.com. That number again, 813-222-8545. Because over at Catania, Catania, they put families first. Office Tampa, not attorney spokesman. Though the day-to-day -day grind, the meetings, the pressures, the constant stop and start on the bridge. Ever just catch yourself saying, I gotta get away? Well, here's your chance, big guy. It's Goons Getaway at Tropicana Field. Tune in all week to the Pat and Aaron Show for your shot at winning tickets to the Rays and Angels. And escape the noise of the day-to-day -day with the Goon Squad. Presented by your Tampa Bay Rays and the Goons on 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Streaming live on Alexa and the the free iHeartRadio app. There are products that offer up to a 20% upfront bonus just for opening an account and up to 12% per year for retirement income. I'm Jeff Jr. with Trajan Wealth, and I've heard from other advisors saying this is too good to be true. No, it's not. We are one of the few who can offer products like these because we're independent. We're not registered with a broker dealer who tells us what we have to sell, and we don't have to answer to a board of directors who prioritize shareholders over clients. So, is an upfront bonus up to 20% and 12% per year growth for income too good to be true? For most advisors, yes, but not Trajan Wealth. The fact that many of our clients come from other financial advisors is a testament to our value. Experience the Trajan Wealth difference for yourself. 813-550-1000. That's 813-550-1000. Annuity guarantees are based on the claims-paying ability of the issuing insurance company. DBA in Florida as Trajan Wealth Insurance Solutions. Get Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle, unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job and the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Hey, it's Brett from Bull Oak. If you're ready to put a stop to your erectile dysfunction, then call Bull Oak today, Tuesday, April 2nd. Bull Oak uses the most advanced form of acoustic wave therapy. This technology is backed by over 50 clinical studies, including research from Cambridge University. Our treatment gets to the root cause of erectile dysfunction by repairing blood vessels and increasing blood flow, all without the need for pills or the worry of side effects. Call us now and you'll qualify for the assessment, exam, even the blood flow ultrasound totally free. This is over $800 in value. And today only, for those who call in the next two minutes, new patients will receive their first treatment completely free. This is worth hundreds of dollars, but call today and it's totally free. Call 813-219-1919. That's 813-219-1919. Call Bull Oak now to qualify. This offer ends today, Tuesday, April 2nd. 813-219-1919. Sorry, but we actually have a wait list for our Monstera. Shaw's greenhouse is really bringing in the green. We can't keep snake plants in stock. She needs a construction manager to build on her roots and grow. We could add a whole section for ferns. Here we'd have dahlias, dahlias, and more dahlias. Indeed can help her hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. You can schedule and conduct virtual interviews all from your employer dashboard. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. When something happens to your car, you might say, Well, that's just great. Oh, perfect. Awesome. How nice for me. But what you really need to say is, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. 
to help you file your claim. State Farm, Bloomington, Illinois. Ronnie Lane here, joined by the MVP of the Holland Group Retirement Wealth Advisors, co-founder and president, Elizabeth Holland. The one thing I love most about football is the team effort it takes to win a game. All phases of the team have to work together and be at their very best to get the job done. That's what your team at the Holland Group does every day, right? Your team of advisors, led by Steve and you, puts together comprehensive retirement plans designed to preserve and grow assets while applying tax advantage strategies to make sure your clients keep every single cent they are legally entitled to. That's what I call a win. That's exactly right. And unlike most other financial firms, we do it all under one roof. This is where the Holland Group becomes your X factor and we can design a customized inflation adjusted and tax advantage retirement plan. Nobody wins by sitting on the bench. So call the Hollands at 727-469-7939 or visit askthehollands.com. Let's make the rest of your life the best of your life. When you enter a place of business, you're owed a legal duty. That the place of business is safe for you to shop in. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you suffered an injury at a place of business, our duty is to protect you after that harm. Morgan & Morgan, for the people.com. Sponsored by Howard Team, homeloans.com. Running to a meeting or just need to get away? No problem. Download the free iHeartRadio app where you can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free Free. never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. The 24-7 home for those who represent Team Tampa Bay. We are 95.3 FM, W237CW, Pendellas Park. And the mighty 620 WDAE St. Petersburg. Streaming live right now on your free iHeartRadio app. All your sports, music, talk, and podcasts. Hey, Tampa Bay, free has never sounded so good. Tuesday, from Newport Ritchie to Zephyr Hills and all around Tampa Bay, plus worldwide on iHeartRadio. The gloves are off. I'm playing hardball. It's fourth and 15, and you're looking at a full court press. You're tuned into the voice of the Tampa Bay sports fan. You're going to like this guy. He's all right. He's a good fella. He's one of us. Buckle up. Because you're on the drive with t Crash. Afternoons on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. You know, it's, it's not fun. And then even into last night where they they kind of came out hot. And um, I think it says a lot, though, how we played all nine innings. Um, put up a few runs late. I think we just got to get going. And um, But, yeah, I don't, I, again, I don't think you'll find a guy in the locker room that, that doesn't want to beat these guys in the next two games. That's Rays pitcher Zach Littell. He joined me in the last hour, and the Rays do want to give one back to the Rangers after what happened, not just last night, but in last year's playoffs, too. Good afternoon, Tampa Bay. Welcome back. Hour number two of The Drive with T. Kraz on this Tuesday ride home. Hope your day is off to a great start and hopefully winding down in just as a profitable way. It's 4.08 on your ride home. Executive producer Chris Mathis on the other side. 888-546-4620. Your calls are always welcome. You can text in your thoughts at 82945. 82945 is the Bartow Ford DAE text platform. Begin your text with DAE, followed by your comments, so they make their way here. Coming up at the bottom of the hour, you should be watching, by the way, on the stream, Facebook Live, Twitch, YouTube TV, like and subscribe. You can watch us 953 WDAE because at the bottom of the hour, we've got fill in the blank. We do that each and every Tuesday. And we're going to do the same thing we did yesterday because if you want a shot to win drive night out tickets to join me in a suite for the Rays game against the Giants on Friday, April the 12th, free food and drink, just no alcohol. But that's okay. You get to hang out in a suite with yours truly. Chris Mathis will also be there. You get to hang out Friday night. It's a beautiful thing, you know. Devil Rays uniforms, Randy Land. You get to hang out with us. A great way to kick off the weekend in a suite at the Rays game. For the first time this year, Tom. That's right. This is the initial drive night out promotion. 
So it's going to be awesome. I'm going to hold up a cue card with the keyword like we did yesterday. And once you see it, you call 888-546-4620, the first correct caller to get through, because a lot of you tried to get through yesterday. First correct caller who can relay the keyword to Chris Mathis, and you're going to join us in a suite. It's a beautiful thing. Tom, do you got a hint for me regarding N the keyword? No. Nanya. No, Nanya is right, yes. All right, that's fine. Nanya. By the way, Eric Neander is going to join us on Thursday because we're not on the air on Friday. Eric Neander and Mark Topkin will both be with us, right, on Thursday's show. Yeah, right? that's correct, Nanya. yeah. No, yes, you said so. I was texting with Eric Neander this morning. He said, okay. He goes, let's do it. He's always so positive, you know. The roof could be caving in. The Rays could be losing 10 in a row. You know, a lot of you, you better calm down, okay? I'm listening to Jay and Zach on the way in, and they're just hammering the Rays. They're pummeling the Rays. Austin Shenton stinks. You know, what's this guy doing? He's a bum. Yeah, he's not a bum. I will say this, and I, I kind of felt bad because his family was going to get on a plane and go back home to the state of Washington and then the Rays told Austin Shenton that he was going to start that game against the Rangers. So the family's like, okay, he's starting. This is great. He's going to be at first base. He's going to start. This is great for the whole family. And Austin Shenton went over three with three God. strikeouts. <laughs> Poor kid. Uh, hey, it happens the best of us, uh, though. Oh, my gosh. I felt bad for him, man. Because he seems like a nice kid. 26 years old from Spokane, Washington, Austin Shenton. You know, I saw in that one spring training game, he committed three errors in that one game. And look, he made the team. And I think the only reason why he made the team is because he's a left-handed bat. Josh Lowe, lefty, is on the injured list. Jonathan Aranda, another big left-handed bat, is on the injured list. So Austin Shenton, I think, is not going to be here much longer. Because when those guys come back, I think he's going to go down. So it was quite unfortunate to watch him last night go 0 for 3. And, you know, wasn't a great night for him. Wasn't a great night for the Rays. Wasn't a great night for Ryan Pepiol. You know, he looked dominant in the spring. You know, high upside arm, fastball, mid-90s. He's got the slider. He's got the circle change. We we're talking to Brian Anderson. I think he tried to throw that circle change to Josh Young in the first inning, and oof, it caught too much of the plate. It was right down Broadway, and he smacked it out for a three-run homer. Adolis Garcia also homered. And then the ninth inning came around. The race could do nothing against Dane Dunning. They got a couple of home runs, Palacio, Siri. But that game was out of hand. In the ninth inning, Phil Maton, a former Astros reliever, remember the Rays signed them as a free agent. Remember, Astros Rangers, man, that was like a blood feud last year. And now here's a former Astro going against the Rangers. He's pitching for the Rays. Young homered in the first inning. He gets hit on the wrist, broken wrist. He's going to be out several weeks. Garcia homered earlier in the game off Chris Davinsky. He got hit right before Young got hit. So Maton hits back-to-back -back batters who, oh, by the way, homered earlier in the game. Oops. Now, Maton met with the media after the game, and he said, listen, it was never my intention to hit anybody on the hands. He hit and broke Josh Young's wrist. Here's Phil Maton after the game talking about yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, I, I haven't really dived into it. I, I really don't want to look at the video right now. Um, you know, you, you hate seeing guys, you know, get hit in the hands and, you know, potentially lose playing time. And, you know, that's not something I like watching. But ultimately, I mean, you know, mechanically probably just a little too quick, a little too excited, you know, you know, really good hitters. You know, I'm trying to throw my best fastballs because these guys can do lots of damage. Um, so, uh, so a little too quick with his delivery. He was a little too excited. He's facing the Rangers because he faced them while he was a member of the Astros, and he knows what that rivalry was all about. Yeah, he got a little too excited. He hits Garcia, then he hits and breaks the wrist of Josh Young. The Ranger fans were all irate. I saw it on social media. 
They're like, oh, we got to get back at this guy, Phil Maton, former Astro. Where's our pound of flesh, this, that, and the other thing? Well, I'll tell you what, as I mentioned in the first hour, you better be watching tonight because I got a feeling the Rangers are going to retaliate. Andrew Heaney's on the mound, and because two of their better players, well, Garcia is one of their better players. Young is, you know, really good. Simeon, Seeger, outstanding. But Randy Rosarena and Yandy Diaz had better be on the lookout. Their heads have to be on a swivel tonight. And it may not happen tonight. Look, baseball's funny like that. It's going to happen situationally where... You know, the game is going to be out of hand, and then all of a sudden, okay, you know what? Now we're going to exact a little bit of revenge. And you can, you know, argue until you're blue in the face about the unwritten rule in baseball. I certainly get it. But you know what? Two of their guys got hit after they hit home runs. What do you think is going to happen tonight? Or it could happen tomorrow. But I think sometime in the next game or two, I think the Rangers are going to want to pay back the Rays for what happened last night. Now, subsequently, the Rays are trying to pay back the Rangers for what happened last year in the playoffs. And that was embarrassing for the Rays. There's no question. And that was one of the things I talked to Zach Littell about. He's like, look, we want to pay them back. You heard the cut coming into the segment. We want to stand up for ourselves. Well, Problem is, is, you know, the Rangers are going to draw a line in the sand themselves tonight after what happened last night. So that's something to keep in mind when you're watching this game tonight. And I, I hope it doesn't get out of hand. You know, usually the best revenge is winning. And the Rangers did win last night. Will they take liberty upon themselves? Will they take it a step further tonight by throwing out one of the race hitters? It's not out of the question. I can tell you that. So just something to watch for. I think that's one of the storylines. The other big storyline tonight is Zach Eflin. Here is the anointed ace. Last year, won 16 games. Opening day against Toronto, not so good. First time through the lineup looked pretty good. And then Toronto got wind. Uh, They started to square him up. Second time, third time through the lineup, that's a really good offensive team. Just like the Texas Rangers are a really good offensive team. And Zach Eflin has to stop the bleeding. The Rays have dropped two in a row. They've allowed nine runs in each of the last two games. Their pitching has issued 15 walks in the last two games. Unacceptable. I mean, you can't have it at all, you know? Are you professional or not? Uh, Professional, you know, throw the ball over the plate. Not over the heart of the plate, but you know what I mean. And that's what Zach Eflin has to do. He's a strike thrower. He's not going to strike out a whole lot of guys, but he'll strike out a few guys. But he's a strike thrower. Normally, he doesn't walk too many guys. That's why the Rays signed him to that big three-year, $40 million deal a year ago. And he was great. Last year, won 16 games. The Rays were, what, 23-6 and in games started by Zach Eflin from a year ago? It's pretty good. It's a great record. 23 and 6 of 23 and 8. They won 23 games in the games that Zach Eflin started from a year ago. So hopefully, you know, he can get back on track and he's going to need to. You're the ace. You're making 11 million a year. You're the highest paid player on this Rays team on a payroll, by the way, that's pushing almost $100 million. You know, you're two and three. No sense in panic. I'm not going to panic. I know a lot of people are kind of up in arms. But I'm not going to panic. But what you need to have to happen tonight is, you know, the big guys. The Randys and the Yandys and the Laos of the world. Those three guys combined went 0 for 11 last night. That can't happen tonight. Those three guys have to carry it. I mean, if they combine to go over again here tonight, then the Rays are going to lose. That's simple. They're going to lose. What do you consider a terrible outing tonight for Eflin? Like, what is unacceptable? Because you talk about what you want to see. What would you say is just, wow, okay, he's struggling to start off the year? Well, look, if he gives up, you know, 
a couple more home runs like he did in the first outing against Toronto. If he gives up like two or three home runs tonight and the Rays lose like eight to three, then yeah, I would say we have ourselves a little bit of a problem here. There's no doubt. I can't have it. You know, in two starts, you're the ace. Um, and he understands that. He knows he's got to do a heck of a lot better. And he realizes this is a very dangerous lineup that the Rangers are throwing out there. But likewise, he needs to get some run support. I think the Rays have a chance to do that here tonight because there's a lefty on the mound, which means Paredes, who was not in the lineup yesterday, is in the lineup today. Rosario, a career 300 hitter against lefties. He's back in the lineup today. He was in the lineup yesterday. And some of the Rays' best right-handed hitters, you know, against left-handed pitching are Yandy Diaz, Randy Rosarena. You got Harold Ramirez, who's one for 17 so far this season. I'm looking at Ramirez and Paredes, two guys who have struggled so far. I look for them to have big contributions here tonight. I think the Rays bounce back. I do. I think they bounce back. I think Eflin bounces back by the end of tonight. And this could be, you know, an explosive night in more ways than one. I think the Rays will be three and three. Your thoughts, 888-546-4620 on the Bartow 4 DA text platform at 82945. Uh, The Rays will blank tonight against the Rangers. Blank will get plunked tonight in the Rays-Rangers game. Fill in the blank is coming your way next. Plus, you better be watching on the stream because coming up next, along with fill in the blank, I'm going to hold up the keyword, the cue card. Your next opportunity to win drive night out tickets is also coming your way next here on The Drive with T-Kraz. You're locked in to The Drive with T-Kraz. Guys, if you want to make your home the gem of your neighborhood, do what I did. Go with my guys over at Green Tech Roofing and Solar. They are the number one roofing solution in Tampa Bay offering free inspections. They offer a wide selection of asphalt shingles, tile, and metal roofing options. John Franco is a Florida native. He is the president and the owner of Green Tech Roofing and Solar. Great guy. They do residential. They do commercial. They have over 300 five-star reviews. They will lay out all of your options when you call them and get that free estimate. They'll walk you through every step of the process. All you have to worry about is really picking your favorite roof color. That's it. So visit them online. Get an accurate assessment by roof by using their free roofing calculator. Visit greentechroofing.com. That's greentech, T-E-K, roofing.com. Greentech Roofing and Solar. This is Smart Roofing. I'll tell you, smart injury, uh, personal injury lawyers are my guys over at Catania and Catania. They've been at it more than 30 years, so if you or someone you love has been injured in an accident, call them, tell them I sent you. They don't get paid unless you get paid. 813-222-8545. Copy the number into your phone. You might need it one day. 813-222-8545. Or hit them up online. Get a free evaluation of your case at Catania and Catania.com. Because over at Catania, Catania, guess what? They put families first. Office Tampa, 930 spokesman. Tell me your boy T. Kras, Tom Krasnicki sent you. Sports, you love it, we love it. Ask yourself if it was possible for you to love it anymore. Of course it is. This kind of love grows, pal. 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. WDAE traffic update. Westbound Gandhi Boulevard jammed up from the Gandhi Bridge over towards Derby Lane. Crash near San Martin Boulevard blocking the lane, and that's also slowing traffic eastbound from 4th Street. We're seeing delays in St. Pete. Northbound 275 from before Tropicana Field to 22nd Avenue North. Delays in Tampa. Northbound 275 from the West Shore area towards I-4 and downtown Tampa. Northbound 75 earlier crash north of 674 now clear. Traffic getting back up to speed there. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Staples Store. Staples Print Big Sale means the more you print, the more you save. Get $20 off your print purchase of $100 or more, $50 off your print purchase of $200 or more, and $100 off your print purchase of $300 or more. Offer ends 4-6. See staples.com slash print for details. Print more, save more at Staples. 
What sets International Diamond Center apart from those big box jewelry chain stores? The problem with big chain stores is that they're all run by corporate. IDC owner Keith LeClaire. That means the people at the store level just plain don't care much. At IDC, you're not dealing with a bunch of retail clerks. You're working with a true jewelry professional who's not on commission and not beholden to a bunch of corporate dictated rules and policies. When you're in the big corporate world, everybody operates out of a manual or a big book of rules. At IDC, we don't have a manual telling our people how to deal with customers. We empower our people to take care of those customers in the way they would want to be taken care of. Get the respect, guidance, professionalism, and genuine care you deserve from people who put you first. We tell them point blank, do whatever it takes to make the customer happy, period. International Diamond Center, locally owned, internationally connected. We want them to take care of you, protect you, and make it the best experience that you could possibly have. In Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota, and always at shopidc.com. Is switching your wireless service to Total by Verizon easy? Totalmente. And you get unlimited 5G data, $25 a line for four lines on the unlimited plan, at an amazing price, with no contracts. Should you switch to Total by Verizon? Definitely. Uh, I mean... Totalmente. Find a store or switch suavemente at totalbyverizon.com. Monthly rate when you activate without a pay, plus taxes and fees. Discount begins the month after you enroll. Additional terms apply. See website for data management practices. Hey, it's Brett from Bull Oak. If you're ready to put a stop to your erectile dysfunction, then call Bull Oak today, Tuesday, April 2nd. Bull Oak uses the most advanced form of acoustic wave therapy. This technology is backed by over 50 clinical studies, including research from Cambridge University. Our treatment gets to the root cause of erectile dysfunction by repairing blood vessels and increasing blood flow, all without the need for pills or the worry of side effects. Call us now and you'll qualify for the assessment, exam, even the blood flow ultrasound totally free. This is over $800 in value. And today only, for those who call in the next two minutes, new patients will receive their first treatment completely free. This is worth hundreds of dollars, but call today and it's totally free. Call 813-219-1919. That's 813-219-1919. Call Bull Oak now to qualify. This offer ends today, Tuesday, April 2nd. 813-219-1919. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Alt 2K. Don't want to be in a man. A commercial-free look back to alternative from the 2000s. With Foo Fighters, Weezer, Linkin Park, Green Day, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and more. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Alt 2K, and listen now. iHeartRadio, free, never sounded so good. iHeartRadio. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. We've had a mostly sunny and windy afternoon with a high of 81 degrees. Partly cloudy and windy tonight with showers, low 73. Then very rainy, windy, with strong storms tomorrow, high 79 degrees. This report is sponsored by Fresh from Florida. Hey guys, Chef Justin with Fresh from Florida here, reminding you that from blueberry pancakes to blueberry smoothies, almost everything is better with Florida blueberries. In season now, look for Fresh from Florida blueberries at your local grocery store. When you can't crank up the speakers in the office, plug in those earbuds and download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Broadcasting live from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, we are Tampa Bay's home for sports. Over 20 years and counting. 95.3 WDAE and the mighty AM620. Let's play a game called fill in the blank. I kick around for you to listen and think. Fill in the blank. Yeah, man, you don't know what time it is, dog. Well, it's 428 on your ride home. It's the drive with T-Kraz. It's time for fill in the blank presented by my guys, Kenny and the wonderful people over at California Closets, Tampa Bay. Love them. They did my garage. They did an extraordinary job. They can do your closet, your pantry, your entertainment center, your garage. They're incredible. California Closets, Tampa Bay dot com. So you hope uh, you hope you're watching. I hope you're watching on the Stream, Facebook, Twitch, YouTube TV, like and subscribe at 953 WDAE because 
The keyword is going to be unveiled, but the only way you can get it is by watching the stream. And here is the host for our fill in the blank segment, our executive producer for the drive with T-Kraz, Christopher Mathis. Let's get right into it, Tampa Bay, before we give you a chance to win a pair of tickets to come hang out with Tom and I at Drive Night Out at Tropicana Field. And Tom, oh, right. it is very nice, Tyler Glass. <laughs> now, I wish I could see you play there in the Rays uniform, uh, but that is not the case. This year's NCAA tournament thus far has been blank. Mm, um... It's been anticlimactic hmm. because I think the two best teams going into the tournament, in my opinion, were Purdue and UConn, and I had them in the championship game, and they're still around, and it looks like they're on a collision course for that championship game. I mean, man, I really hope it happens because such great individual matchups on both sides, not the least of which would be the matchup in the pivot between seven foot four Zach Eady and Donovan Klingen, who's seven foot two from UConn. I'm all about it. I'm all about King Kong versus Godzilla in the paint. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm excited for that as well, Tom. That's a lot of mass right there. I like to see who can step up and out manpower the other. The team that has the most pressure to pressure to perform in this year's tournament down the stretch right now is blank. Oh, it's UConn because they've dominated. They've blown people away. They've won 10 tournament games in a row by double digits. They're the defending champs. If they lose, it would almost seem like a big disappointment. It would be a big disappointment because they're the odds on favorite. The start of the 2024 season for your Tampa Bay Rays has been blank. Uh, it has not been great. However, we're only five games into it. They are two and three. Yeah, I get it. They still have to go on the road. They've got two more games here with the Rangers. You would hope that maybe they can split the next two, if not win the next two, which would be great. But I think a lot of people are jumping off the bandwagon way too quick. Guys, we got 157 games left. Let's calm down. Now, these were also the same Rays fans that after the 13-0 start last year thought, World Series! I'm telling you. You know, the first couple of weeks of April, uh, and yeah. they got so reality this, there. Correct. And that's a good point because they went 13-0 to start the season, and they couldn't win a playoff game. You know, back in 2020, they started the year 4-6. and six. They finished 40-20. and 20. They went to the World Series. And then they get to the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. The one thing that surprised you about the start for this Rays team is blank. Surprised? Yeah, and that could be in a good way or a negative way. Um, I'm surprised by the pitching and the fact that they've issued, what, 15 walks so far, uh, so far this season. I'm sorry. No, that number is bigger than that. Yeah, what is it, 20 something? 26. I'm sorry. So, Ray's pitching so far in the five games has issued 26 walks. That's way too much. Oh, and in the last two game. games, yeah, thank you for the math. Uh, uh, the last two games, they've issued 15 walks. So, you, you can't do that and expect to win. The Rays, obviously, heavy on analytics. That's why they signed a guy like Zach Eflin because he was a strike thrower, pounding the, the strike zone. And, you know, forcing you to put the ball in play to make the defense work behind you. So 26 walks so far is a surprise through five games. The best thing going for the Rays right now is blank. Well, it's even though he went 0 for 5 last night, you know, Yandy Diaz and Randy Rosarena are the two best things right now happening for the Rays. And Randy's hit two home runs, both of them to the opposite field. So the added bulk is working for him. And I know Yandi dropped a little bit of weight. He was 357 going into the game last night. Obviously, last night was not a great matchup or a great um, certainly um, result for him. But I still think at the end of the day, he's missed a consistency. So those two guys have been pretty good for the most part. Last night, we saw a few Rangers get plunked. Blank will get plunked tonight by the Rangers pitching staff. Um, I'm looking at the Rays lineup, and it's easy to say Yandy Diaz or Randy Rosarena. Um, I think Isak Paredes is going to get one tonight. Ooh, okay. All right. So Isak Paredes is batting cleanup. He's two for 15, and his last at bat, the ninth inning of Sunday's game, he hit a home run. He was given last night off, but he's in there tonight against the lefty Andrew Heaney. 
I think somebody is going to get nicked tonight. Ow. Ow. Yes, sir. Now, we have talked about several Rays that need to step up here, Tom. We talked about it yesterday on the program. Yeah, also, just disc- everything we do. Uh, a little bit of what you do, Kevin Cash. The one guy of all the guys that needs to step up right now for Tampa Bay is blank. Is the guy on the mound tonight. It's Zach Eflin because he is now the anointed ace. They've dropped two games in a row. It's an ace's job to go out there and stop the bleeding. I need to see six innings, two runs, seven strikeouts out of Eflin here tonight. Kevin Cash, manager of your Tampa Bay Rays, is blank. I think he's still one of the best managers in all of baseball. And look, he's won multiple Manager of the Year awards to do what he's done with this team. And look, you know, I get it. A lot of the information is fed to him in terms of when to change pitchers and everything else. You still have to manage 26 personalities for six straight months, day in, day out, on the home, at home, on the road, in airports, in hotels, on the team bus. You know, you still have to keep these guys going, keep these guys motivated, and you have to manage all these wild personalities, too, from all different backgrounds, too. A lot of these guys don't speak English, Hispanic players. So I think Kevin does a great job of balancing all of that, keeping guys focused and driven, and that's why I think he's still one of the best managers in baseball. Zach Eflin will th- will throw blank number of innings here tonight against the Rangers in game two. Um, I just let the cat out of the bag. I think he's going to throw six innings tonight, and that's all you need. If you have a lead after six, the Rays' bullpen is going to be good enough to take it home. Continuing now with tonight's action for your Rays and Rangers. The final, um, Yeah, I know. We're going to get right into that final score. The final score will be blank. In favor of the blank. Yeah, I'll give you a blank. Um, The final score will be 6-4 to in favor of the Rays. I think the Rays get it done tonight. Uh, I'm not going to call it a lock, but I think it's a near lock. I think I'm confident that the Rays get it done tonight. 6-4, to the final score. Let's transition now to your Tampa Bay Lightning. The home stretch of the season for the Tampa (laughs) Bay Lightning. John Cooper, it's no laughing matter. The home stretch of the season for the Lightning is blank. I think it's critical in order for the Lightning to keep up that pace of play. I know they were clipped by the Red Wings last night. The Red Wings play with a a dire sense of urgency because they're trying to stay alive in the playoff hunt. But I think as long as the Lightning don't suffer any more injuries, I think Vasilevsky's playing reasonably well. I saw John Cooper tinker with the lines a little bit. He moved Duclair off the point and Kucherov line. I'm hoping he puts them back on that line in the days and weeks to come. But, you know, you have a handful of games before the playoffs. If you're the Lightning, you just want to keep up with that pace of play because I think they're the team that nobody wants to see come playoff time. Aside from last night, Tom, the way that the Bolts have been playing was pretty well over the last 10 games. That makes you feel blank about their chances heading into the postseason. Optimistic. As long as Andre Vasilevsky continues to be in that groove, I think he's seeing the puck really well. He's settling in. And look, once you get into the playoffs, he's been there and done that. He understands what it takes mentally and physically to get through the playoff grind. So if he's hot, a hot goalie could ride. You could ride a hot goalie all the way through to the Stanley Cup Finals. We've seen it. Now, in talking about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, as we round out, fill in the blank here on this Tuesday, (sighs) the Buccaneers over under win total is blank. I think it's right about right. It's at eight now. It Uh, was eight. Yes, Jason Light. It was at eight and a half, but apparently it's been bet down to eight because there's a lot of money coming in on the under. And look, the bottom line is this. I like what the Bucs have done in the offseason. I think that man, Jason Light's done a really good job. Bringing Jordan Whitehead back was extremely smart. They bring back Baker. They bring back Mike Evans. Um, They are keeping the core intact. They put the franchise tag on Antoine Winfield Jr., who's an exceptional player, as we all know. They've got a first-place schedule, though, and the Falcons are better. We think the Carolina Panthers are going to be better. They can't be much worse. So (laughs) it's going to be a challenge in 2024, but I think the Buccaneers are putting their best foot forward, too. All right, here's the big one here on this Tuesday afternoon. The key word for one lucky listener to win a pair of tickets to hang out with us in a suite at Tropicana Field for Drive Night Out is blank. Boom. It, it's right there. So if you're watching on the Facebook live stream, Facebook, Twitch, YouTube TV, like and subscribe, I am holding up the cue card with 
the keyword. So if you call at 888-546-4620, you're going to get the ticket. All right, guys, that is Phil and the blank right here on, of course, The Drive. All right, great job there, Chris Mathis, on that. So your calls and texts as we try and find the winner for Drive Night Out tickets. It can be yours if you call in. Right now, a ton of people are trying to call in, and Chris Mathis is going to get a winner in no time at all. But um, I want to comment first off before we hit the break, and we're going to talk some lightning hockey in a matter of moments. We'll take you up to 530. We've got the final drive before we hand things over to uh, Intentional Walk with Ronnie Lane at 530 to get you set for game two between the Rays and the Texas Rangers. Could there be some payback coming tonight after Young and Garcia got hit in the ninth inning last night? I think the answer may very well be yes. That's the first thing I tweeted out yesterday. I go, you know somebody's getting plunked from the Rays. You know that's going to happen at some point. So you don't want to see somebody get hurt. Unfortunately, Josh Young broke his wrist, and he's going to be out for several weeks. It should be noted, though, that for whatever reason, Josh Young tried to swing at that pitch that was tailing up and in on him by Phil Maton. Now, Maton's control was, was a, you know, all over the place. There's no doubt. He rode one inside to Garcia, hit Garcia on the hand. Garcia, obviously, visibly very upset. And then the next guy, Young, he rides one up and in on him and it hits him in the wrist, breaks his wrist. But, you know, Young, for some reason, he tried to follow through. He tried to swing at that pitch. And when he did, he put himself in a vulnerable position and the ball hit him right in the wrist and, unfortunately, breaks his wrist. I don't think Maton was necessarily throwing at him. But he was wild, and if you recall, the Rays didn't have anybody warming up in the bullpen. I mean, I I thought maybe after he hit Garcia, okay, this guy doesn't have it clearly. Maybe you get him out of the game. But at that point of the game, Kevin Cash and Kyle Snyder were not going to waste any more pitchers. Why? That game's out of hand. Phil Maton had to take one for the team, and he did. Unfortunately, he hits Young, and Young is going to be out for several weeks. Very, very unfortunate. Uh, we have a winner. Uh, I can't read. Uh, it's uh, Yeah, it's, it's Clarence in Tampa. Clarence. All right, Clarence in Tampa is the winner. He's going to drive night out Friday, April the 12th, when the Rays take on the Giants. And Clarence knew that the key word today was retaliation. Who's going to retaliate tonight? Is it going to be the Rangers after what happened last night with the two-hit batsmen? Or is it going to be the Rays after losing last night to Texas and then losing and losing royally to the Rangers last year in the American League wild card? And you heard Zach Littell, and I asked him about it when I had him on in the last hour. I was like, yeah, man, we want to pay them back after what happened last year. We played like crap, and they did. The Rays played like bunk. It was dreadful. So hopefully the Rays pay them back, but the Rangers could be looking for some payback as well. All right, on the way. I was flipping back and forth between the Rays and the Lightning. Unfortunately, they both lost. I also stumbled across something else, and I'm always fond of saying I always appreciate greatness. And what I witnessed last night was a degree of greatness that will never be seen before in this said sport. That is coming your way next. It's The Drive with T-Kraz on your ride home. You're tuned in to The Drive with T-Kraz. Guys, the future of medicine is here, and it's my guys over at QC Kinetics. Dr. Suckerman and his team of professionals, they're awesome. When I had a problem with my elbow a couple of years ago after a couple of treatments, Felt as good as new. I had some soreness in my knee for a few months last year into this year. And after a couple of treatments, Haley was extraordinary. I love her. She did a great job, and I feel as good as new. Regenerative medicine. Regenerative medicine is where it's at with QC Kinetics, and they are the nation's leader in doing just that. The most exciting revolution in pain management with no drugs, no surgery, no steroids, no downtime. QC Kinetics will have you living your best life. So if your knee, your shoulder, your back, your hip, 
you've got arthritic pain, if that's still holding you back, the weather's so nice outside, why surrender to agonizing joint pain? Call my guys over at QC Kinetics and see what regenerative medicine can do for you. Get a free consultation right now at 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000. QC Kinetics, locations in Brandon, Bradenton, Lakeland, and St. Pete. Tell me, boy, Tom Krasnicki sent you QC Kinetics. Today, Tampa Bay Rays baseball is live on WDAE. Deep down the line to the corner, home run. Don't miss any of the action as the Rays take on the Texas Rangers. Coverage starts at 530. On the home of every Rays game all season long. 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Streaming across Tampa Bay on the iHeartRadio app. WDAE traffic update. Disabled vehicle off to the right hand side on northbound 275 on the Howard Franklin Bridge. It's about midway across the bay. Also, we're seeing delays on northbound 275 from the West Shore area to past I 4. Crash on MLK near North Boulevard, slowing traffic in both directions there. Also, we're seeing delays on westbound Gandy Boulevard, west of the bridge. Approaching Derby Lane had a crash near San Martin. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Dairy Queen. Hey, DQ fans, they've got the deal of the century for you. Download the DQ app and get buy one, get one free Blizzard treats. Just like that, you can get any two Blizzard treats for the price of one. Only at participating DQ locations. Happy tastes good. Hey, it's Brett from Bull Oak. If you're ready to put a stop to your erectile dysfunction, then call Bull Oak today, Tuesday, April 2nd. Bull Oak uses the most advanced form of acoustic wave therapy. This technology is backed by over 50 clinical studies, including research from Cambridge University. Our treatment gets to the root cause of erectile dysfunction by repairing blood vessels and increasing blood flow, all without the need for pills or the worry of side effects. Call us now and you'll qualify for the assessment, exam, even the blood flow ultrasound totally free. This is over $800 in value. And today only, for those who call in the next two minutes, new patients will receive their first treatment completely free. This is worth hundreds of dollars, but call today and it's totally free. Call 813-219-1919. That's 813-219-1919. Call Bull Oak now to qualify. This offer ends today, Tuesday, April 2nd. 813-219-1919. Hi, Andrew Duncan of the Duncan Duo team with LPT Realty. Are you looking to sell a high-end home? The official real estate agents of the Tampa Bay Lightning offer exclusive video technology to get your luxury home listing in front of qualified buyers all over the world. Visit us at DuncanDuo.com. When something happens to your kitchen and you say, This is ludicrous. You get having trouble? Don't panic. Don't be alarmed. You need to file a claim? Holla at State Farm. That's right. Like a good neighbor? State Farm is there. State Farm, Bloomington, Illinois. At Fair and Farrah, no matter if you're working on a case worth $5,000 or a case worth $5 million, you give that case the attention it deserves. Because to the client, that's their big case. Farrah and Farrah, here for you, here for good. Tampa. When something happens to your car, you might say, Well, that's just great. Oh, perfect. Awesome. How nice for me. But what you really need to say is, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there to help you file your claim. State Farm, Bloomington, Illinois. Come bowl with Big Rig and Producer X at 98 Rocks Bowling for Balls at Pin Chasers on April 13th. Featuring bowling, food, and fun. Proceeds go to the Testicular Cancer Foundation. For tickets and more information, visit 98rock.com. Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors. Visit TrajanWealth.com. This report is sponsored by eBay Motors. eBay Motors is here for the ride with the parts you need at the prices you want. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they're guaranteed to fit your ride the first time every time or your money back keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com eligible items only exclusions apply we've had a mostly sunny and windy afternoon with a high of 81 degrees partly cloudy and windy tonight with showers low 73 then very rainy windy with strong storms tomorrow high 79 degrees Follow WDAE on social, Facebook, X, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Now, back to The Drive with T-Kraz on WDAE. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. 
thoughts on tonight with The Drive with T. Kras. Yes, sir, and it's brought to you by HowardTeamHomeLoans.com with my guy, John Howard. It was a wonderful pleasure to see him today here in studio. And here he is, our guy, Chris Mathis. All right, right after our show ending, of course, at 5.30 today, Inside Pitch with Ronnie Lane. Uh, leading um, until 6 o'clock, Eric Neander, as the Rays will take on the Rangers in Game 2 of the series, followed by the official Rays radio pregame show with Chris Adams-Wall at 6 o'clock, leading up to first pitch at 6.50. And then, as always, go download that free iHeartRadio app, search The Drive, hit follow, and you guys can keep up with us each and every day. You can catch up on what you may have missed or also stream us wherever you are that has Wi-Fi or cell coverage. That's what's on tonight. Uh, great job there, Chris Mathis. Outstanding job. I try, and I try to be professional when I can. What? Are you professional or not? Uh, yes, you are professional. I'll tell you who's professional. Um, Caitlin Clark is the best women's basketball player I've ever seen in my life. And, you know, a lot of people might push back, maybe... Cheryl Miller, Diana Taurasi, or Rebecca Lobo, blah, 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 Sue Bird. You know, there have been some really good ones. You know, Brittany Griner is in the conversation. But after what I saw last night and after what took place last year, Caitlin Clark is just incredible. Absolutely incredible. The entire LSU team was geared up to try and stop her, and they couldn't do it. When you try and gear up, and like, and, and I hesitate to make this comparison, but growing up in New York as a Knicks fan, I watched them get stymied by Michael Jordan over and over and over again. And the rules back then in the NBA, not like what it was now. I mean, give me a break. I mean, this is country club basketball, which you see nowadays in the NBA. Back then... In the 80s and the 90s, you weren't born yet, Chris Mathis. It was physical basketball. Malice at the palace, right? You were getting clotheslined going to the basket. Michael Jordan got beat on by the Pistons for a couple of years, and then he hit the weight room, and then guess what? He turned around and he swept them. And Michael Jordan and the Knicks were a great rivalry. Uh, I don't know if you could call it a rivalry because Michael Jordan beat them every single time. Yes, unfortunately. But no matter what the Knicks did to stop him, whether it's putting Rolando, oh, Michael Jordan said one offseason, the toughest guy, and I'll never forget this, the toughest guy that I've ever had to go up against who did a great job of guarding me was Rolando Blackman. And then two weeks later, I think it was the Knicks traded for Rolando Blackman, and Jordan just destroyed him. Derek Harper... Jordan destroyed him. John Starks, it didn't matter. The Knicks pulled out all the stops to try and stop Michael Jordan, and they still couldn't do it. They tried to beat him down mentally and physically, no matter. They tried the trash talk game. I remember one playoff series where, was it Riley or was it Jeff Van Gundy criticizing Jordan? Oh, Jordan went to Atlantic City. So they were playing a playoff series at Madison Square Garden against the Knicks. And, you know, Atlantic City is like two hours away down the Jersey Shore. And we know Jordan had a gambling problem. Jordan went to Atlantic City. It became news. It was in the papers. Like, oh, yeah, look at Jordan. He went to Atlantic City. You know, he heard about it from, I think, the Knicks coach at the time. Or the Knicks players at the time. And Jordan's like, oh, yeah. He came out the next game. I think he scored 50 on them. Yeah, how do you like my gambling exploits now, huh? That's what Jordan did. And that's what triggered the memory last night as I'm watching LSU trying to stop Caitlin Clark. She's coming down the floor and she's pulling up from like 30 feet out. Boom, nothing but net. I've never seen anything like it, honestly. Now, she's got to follow through and lead Iowa to the national championship, which would cement her her legacy. But I'm telling you, maybe I'm just caught up in being a prisoner of the moment. But I'm watching Caitlin Clark last night score 41 of the 94 points, and I'm thinking, this is the best women's basketball player that I've ever seen in my life. Incredible. And I appreciate greatness. 
We saw it out of Tom Brady here for three years. And, you know, I'm honored and I'm blessed to have the opportunity to be in this position when Brady was here. Damn, we try to get him on the show so many times. Oh, so what's the question? My well, question here, Tommy, boy, is why didn't you come on? I appreciate you, even though I was a Jets fan grow- growing up and you tormented the Jets. And, you know, the, the Jets, you know, they handed you a couple of really disappointing defeats, too, including one at home in the playoffs. But, you know, we don't need to talk about that. And all I wanted was five minutes. And we couldn't get that with Tom Brady. That's a shame. But Caitlin Clark, that was incredible last night. But she's got to follow through and have Iowa win the national championship. You got to have a championship under your belt, don't you? In order to go down as maybe the greatest ever in that said sport. But what a performance that was last night. What UConn did to USC and the other semifinal was incredible as well. So women's college basketball, man, they're stepping it up a notch or two. Man, oh, man, pretty good stuff to watch. And then, of course, on the men's side, we're down to the Final Four. I think we're on a UConn-Purdue collision course there. We're going to find out next weekend. And, of course, last night, unfortunately, was a bad night here in Tampa because – Tampa Bay, sorry – because we saw the Rays lose and we saw the Lightning lose to a Red Wings team that absolutely needed the win. But I think the Lightning are still in a very good spot. They're getting some really promising contributions. Kucherov is still on an MVP type of blitz. Good for Kucherov! It is good for him. He's still doing the an incredible number. And then you've got, you know, Blackjack, Braden Point kind of doing what he's doing at this point. Vasilevsky, I think, is settling in. And that's the one guy you want to see playing At a really high level. I mean, a hot goalie, you can ride that sucker all the way through to the Stanley Cup Finals. We've seen it here. We've seen it with other teams, too, in the not-too-recent past. And then you look at Kucherov. He's got 127 points. He's right there. Nathan McKinnon's got 127. Connor McDavid's got 126. So you got three guys separated by one point in the race for regular season MVP honors in the NHL. So that's going to go all the way down to the wire. And look, I think if Kucherov finishes really strong, I mean, the lightning right now, or the talk of the league for the kind of March that they've had, hopefully they can continue it in the month of April. The playoffs are going to begin in less than three weeks. The lightning have eight games left. Kucherov has 127 points. I think he needs to average at least a point per game. Kucherov's got to get to at least 135 points. At least if he's going to win MVP. If he's at like 137, 138, I mean, if he's got like 10 points in the last eight games, if he gets to like 137 points, uh, how do you not give it to him? He's one of the best offensive players in the world. And I get it. The other two guys are not shabby in McKinnon and McDavid. But Kucherov, really from beginning to end, has been incredible. He's been the most consistent guy, I can tell you that, of the three. Nikita Kucherov has been the most consistent performer of the three. McDavid had a kind of slow start, and he's kind of really turned it up in the last several weeks. But really, from beginning to end, Nikita Kucherov, has been more consistent of the three. And hopefully, that helps him out in his cause. All right, we got a half an hour to go until a wild pitch with Ronnie Lane coming up in a matter of moments. Also coming up, might we see some rough stuff tonight between the Rays and the Rangers based on what happened last night and who needs to step up their game in a big way tonight for the Rays against the Rangers. I'm going to give you the one guy who's got to step up Big time if they're going to get the three and three. That's the next. It's the drive with T. Kras. You're locked in to the drive with T. Kras. Guys, it's the month of April, and when it comes to the April birthstone over at the Golden Diamond Source, diamonds take center stage. Diamonds are a girl's best friend, right? That's what they say. Diamonds symbolizing love, strength, eternity. They are a classic choice. The first-time buyer at the Golden Diamond Source, a diamond buyer, 
With the Golden Diamond Source's First Time Buyer Program, they will educate you on everything you need to know to pick out that perfect diamond for you and your loved one. Remember, your Golden Diamond Source diamond also never loses its value. You can always trade up your Golden Diamond Source diamond for a bigger, better one. And while you're at it, by the way, spring clean your jewelry collection and find out how much your Golden Diamonds are worth today. Bring it on in. They will buy it from you. And for the Golden Diamond Source's 40-year anniversary, they're celebrating by offering up to 40% off select jewelry items. So whether you're getting engaged, a birthday, or an anniversary, make sure it's a Golden Diamond Source diamond at 3800 Omer to Road to Clearwater. Always online at goldendiamond.com. Make sure to tell them that the drive with T-Kraz sent you. Guys, whether it's an injury accident, product liability, medical malpractice, social security disability, protect your rights and retain the personal injury law firm of my guys over at Catania Catania. They've been at it more than 30 years. They don't get paid unless you get paid. A half a billion dollars has been recovered by my guys for injury victims just like you. So call them. Tell them I sent you. Catania Catania is where it's at. 813-222-8545. That's 813-222-8545. Or hit them up online. Get a free evaluation of your case at Catania and Catania.com. Because over at Catania Catania, they put families first. Office tap by 9 and 30 spokesman. The most complete rundown on all things baseball across Tampa Bay and around the majors. It's the Inside Pitch with Ronnie Lane. Swing and a drive. Deep to left. Go! Presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. 60 minutes before every weekday race game. Right here on the radio home of every race game in 2024. 95.3 WDAE and AM620. The home of the Rays. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. We are connected internationally. We have relationships in the diamond industry that go back decades. Sources all over the world. International Diamond Center's owner Keith LeClaire explains how IDC always offers to beat anyone else's price on a diamond. We buy direct from the cutters, we pay cash, and we just don't believe in typical jewelry store markups. With his background as a wholesaler, Keith says IDC's business model is based on lower margins and higher volume. We're not here to sell you something for a quick buck. So it comes down to better sourcing and low markup. That's why we guarantee the best value price. If you're buying a diamond, engagement ring, or any fashion jewelry, come experience a refreshing alternative to the typical jewelry experience at IDC. We're here to offer the right price on every piece of jewelry that you buy from IDC. Real value from real people. We'd rather make a little bit and keep you as a customer than make a lot of it and lose you as a customer. International Diamond Center in Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota. And online at shopidc.com. Lowe's knows pros need the right tools for every job. That's why we sell the largest in-store selection of Klein tools anywhere. Find new items like the self-leveling green laser level for just $159.98. Plus, shop the Connect pass-through socket set for $49.98, which you can only find at Lowe's. Shop Klein tools in-store and online today. Because Lowe's knows tools. Lowe's knows pros eBay Motors is here for the ride. 120,000 miles of night drives, daily commutes, and who knows how many. Are we there yet? Through countless fixes, elbow grease, and a new radiator, you kept your ride alive. With eBay Motors, you have over 122 million parts to keep it running. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they'll be the perfect fit every time. Plus, at these prices, well, we're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Progressive presents Precious Moments. Hey, Jess, want to come for a ride on my motorcycle? You know, we can talk about our feelings and explore our emotional compatibility. I thought you'd never ask. The exchange you just heard didn't actually happen, but it could. Bundle your home and other vehicles with Progressive and you could use the savings to make sure the motorcycle is always ready for your dream girl. So keep the dream alive and the savings coming with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. Not available in all states. Men suffering from erectile dysfunction or PE? Frustrated taking pills that don't work? 
Here's a message from Prestige Men's Medical Center. I'm Dr. Simovitz. Prestige Men's Medical Center offers breakthrough treatments with men lasting longer than ever without pain or surgery. Call now. Your consultation and first treatment are free. You'll see instant results right in the office. Call Prestige Men's Medical Center now. 813-538-7931. That's 813-538-7931. Opening your home to showings means strangers can open anything. Don't worry about getting around to spring cleaning. Sell your home with a guaranteed offer from Mark Spain Real Estate and skip the cleaning and organizing necessary to sell your home. Hey, it's Aaron Jacobson. Say goodbye to the stress that comes with a traditional home sale. With a guaranteed offer from Mark Spain's Real Estate, you can receive an all-cash offer and close within days. No showings, no open houses, no costly repairs. Mark Spain Real Estate makes selling your home stress-free. Check them out. MarkSpain.com for the guaranteed offer. No obligation. That's MarkSpain.com and start packing. Plumbing, HVAC, and electrical contractors on Service Titan put up big numbers. How big? In their first two years on Service Titan, contractors typically see a 10% increase in call booking rates, a 9% increase in average ticket size, and a 17% increase in revenue. They also average a 4.7 out of 5 stars on customer review sites. Add it all up and the answer is clear. When solving for profitability, productivity, and growth, Service Titan is an essential part of the equation for contractors like you. Learn more today at ServiceTitan.com. That's ServiceTitan.com. Individual results may vary. Hi, I'm Benny Jr. with Bartow Ford. The college basketball playoffs have always been one of my favorite times of the sporting year. Why? It's a chance for a small town school to beat a perennial powerhouse. Bartow Ford has been that underdog, outselling big city dealerships every single day, every single year. We only do this by teamwork and taking care of our customers. It's just another way at Bartow Ford we're different and we prove it. Jake from State Farm. I just beat my running PR, so I'm celebrating. Keep celebrating when you bundle and save with the State Farm personal price plan. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Prices vary by state. Options selected by customer availability and eligibility may vary. Hi, this is Earl Ron, president of New South Window. New South is having a one-day factory sale. This Saturday only in our factory showroom. 40% off energy-efficient windows and patio doors. One day only this Saturday from 9 till 4. Please visit us at NewSouthWindow.com. Most impact windows from Reese are installed in just six weeks. Check them out, ReeseWindows.com. Have you downloaded the free iHeartRadio app yet? Just think, you could take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all on one app. Free never, never sounded, sounded so, so good. good. Presented by the law offices of Anajar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. The reigning, defending, and undisputed home of Tampa, Tampa Bay, Bay sports, sports talk, talk for over 20, 20 years. years. We are 95.3 FM W237CW Pendellas Park. 95.7 HD3 WBTP Clearwater. 96.7 FM W224BE Brent. And the, and the mighty, mighty 620, 620 WDAE St. Petersburg. Streaming live right now on your free iHeartRadio app. All your sports, music, talk, and podcasts. Hey, hey, hey Tampa Bay. Bay. Free has never sounded so good. Tuesday, from Dade City to Carrollwood and all around Tampa Bay, plus worldwide on iHeartRadio. The gloves are off. I'm playing hardball. It's fourth and 15, and you're looking at a full court press. You're tuned into the voice of the Tampa Bay sports fan. You're going to like this guy. He's all right. He's a good fella. He's one of us. Buckle up. Because you're on the drive with t Crass. Afternoons on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Yeah, I think it's just their ability to really connect with guys and get them to buy in and as well make them believe in their stuff. You know, the Rays have obviously have now developed a reputation for, for bringing guys in and really allowing them to, to flourish. And um, I think that's just a, a product of them getting guys comfortable here, truly getting them to believe in their stuff because every guy here has elite stuff. That's a guy who believes in his stuff. That's Zach Littell, Ray's starting pitcher, from our interview with him earlier today on the Ray's way of doing things. They picked that guy up off the scrap heap. The Red Sox say, we don't want you anymore. Go away. The Ray's picked him up. Threw 90 innings last year. Ended up being a revelation. 
can he give them 150 to 160 innings this year? He told me in the interview he wants to push for 200. I don't think that's happening. But Zach Littell has been one of the bright spots so far this season for the two and three Rays. Final game of that, actually second game of that three-game series with the defending champion Texas Rangers tomorrow and then the final game tomorrow afternoon at 110. Good afternoon, Tampa Bay. Welcome back to Drive with T-Kraz. Hour number three, if you're just getting in your car, hope you had a great day at work. It's 5.08 on your ride home at 95.3 FM, AM 620, the mighty 620. Don't forget to download the iHeartRadio app. It's free. Take us with you wherever you might be headed on the app. It is great. And we hope you've been watching us on the stream, on Facebook, YouTube and Twitch at 953WDAE. Like and subscribe. We gave away another pair of tickets to the Drive Night Out earlier in the show. Clarence won them today. Clarence in Tampa. Aaron from Holiday won them yesterday. It's a pair of tickets to join yours truly in a suite for the Rays game against the Giants on Friday, April the 12th. That's a week from Friday. We're going to give away another pair tomorrow. And we're going to give away two pair On Thursday, because we're not here on Friday, because that man you just heard from, Zach Littell, will be on the mound for the game Friday in Colorado. That's a 4-10 first pitch. Another Zach is on the mound tonight for the Rays, and that would be Zach Eflin, who got roughed up in his first start of the season. We were there. I was at the Trop. Me and Ronnie Lane, we were there, and we saw Zach Littell uh, you know, we saw Zach Eflin rather, uh, he, he got roughed up a little bit, gave up three home runs, five and two thirds, six runs as the Rays lost to the Blue Jays. And look, that's the one guy that's got to turn it around tonight. Yeah. Offensively last night, the combination of Diaz, Lau and a Rosarena went 0 for 11. I don't think that's going to happen tonight. There's a lefty on the mound. I think the Rays do very well against left-handed pitching. Diaz is a righty. A Rosarina is a righty. Paredes is back in the lineup as a righty. Ahmad Rosario, who hits almost 300 lifetime against the lefties, he's in there. I think offensively the Rays are going to score some runs. But what they truly need tonight is Zach Eflin to look like that ace. I don't know if he's a bona fide ace in my book. I think he's a really good number two. Last year, at times, he pitched like an ace. Last year, you had Shane McClanahan, who was 11-1. and one. I think he was the best pitcher in baseball over the first three months until he had his elbow issues. Tyler Glass now was also a bona fide ace when he was healthy. Those two guys are gone. So now your number two, Zach Eflin, becomes your number one. He didn't pitch like a number one. He looked like a number five or a number six, let me tell you, against Toronto. But we all know that he is more than capable of being a really effective starting pitcher. And when he's on, he's moving the ball all around the zone. He throws with that sinking action. He'll induce some ground balls. He'll pound the strike zone. I think that's what you'll see out of Zach Eflin here tonight. And he's got to be focused and he's got to be ready to go because... The lineup you'll see tonight is just as good as the one he saw last week in the Toronto Blue Jays. I lit him up for six runs, including three home runs. So, Zach Eflin tonight, I'm looking for a bounce back outing out of him. And Andrew Heaney will be on the mound, the lefty for Texas. And based on what you saw last night, I'm wondering, are we going to see Maybe some hijinks tonight. Are we going to see tensions rising tonight? Because Phil Maton, a former Astro, by the way, those Astros-Rangers games last year, they were intense, weren't they? And Phil Maton was on that Astros team. Ray signed him as a free agent. Last night, Josh Young hit a three-run homer off Ryan Pepio in the first inning. Pepio didn't throw strikes. He faced 24 batters. First pitch strikes on 13 of the 24. It's it's not good enough. It's not a good enough ratio. You want to be able to throw first pitch strikes to, you know, 75 to 80% of the guys you face. That's what will put you at a greater success rate. And right now, the Rays pitching is not doing that. They've walked 26 guys in five games. In the last two games, 
they walk 15 guys. It's not going to do it, especially against a really good lineup like Toronto, which we saw to open up the series and the season. And then you saw last night out of Texas, man, you walk those guys and they'll make you pay because they're really good. Simeon, Seeger. I know Josh Young, who got hit on his wrist by Maton last night after homering in the first inning. He's going to be out, unfortunately, for several weeks. You got Adolis Garcia, who was hit right before Young was hit. So that leads me to believe that tonight eh, you might see some extracurricular activities. You don't want to see it, but I think there's a chance that a raised batter gets plunked tonight. Something to watch for. Just saying. But I'm hoping that the Rays can bounce back, and I think they will bounce back tonight with Eflin on the mound. I think he's going to be better than he was in his first outing. And I think the Rays' right-handed hitters, Isak Paredes, Harold Ramirez, I think he's going to have a breakthrough outing. He's one for 17 to begin the season. We all know that he's better than that, I would think. I think he's better than one for 17. The Rays, by the way, are the favorites, according to the Hard Rock Bet app tonight. And ESPN Analytics has them as a 55% favorite going into this one, almost 56%. I'm looking at the Rangers lineup. Uh, it, It includes some superstar players and two rookie of the year candidates. Their lineup is good, man. Simeon, Seager. Evan Carter, Rookie of the Year candidate. Adolis Garcia, animal. He's an animal. Followed by Wyatt Langford, the Florida Gator, Rookie of the Year candidate. Walsh, good player. Heim, the catcher, good player. Ditto Smith, and then Tavares is in center field batting ninth. It's tough. Zach Eflin's going to have his hands full. And for the Rays, you got Yandy Diaz, and then Harold Ramirez is the DH hitting second. Uh, Ross Arena hitting third. Isak Paredes in a cleanup spot. I like him there against the lefty. Rosario's in right field tonight hitting fifth. And then you got Curtis Mead at second base sixth. Jose Siri who homered last night. I think Siri's done pretty well. Three stolen bases and a home run so far this season. Caballero is back at shortstop hitting eighth. He's done a pretty good job so far hitting 385. And then Rene Pinto batting ninth. I'll tell you what, man. You know, he better clean things up defensively. That throw he made to second base, come on. He's a bum. He's not a bum, but he's playing like a Ford Pinto. Come on. No, 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 no. What? Man. All right, Tom, you like that one. But, no, he does need to step it up. He's got to be better. And you know what? The Rays catching position is... Is a troublesome spot so far. It really is. Rene Pinto, are you sold on him being your guy? And Ben Rortfed is the guy they brought in from the Yankees right before the season began. A lot of people were surprised by that. You know, he looks the part, I can tell you that. He looks like freaking ravishing Rick Rude. I mean, give me a break. He's got the body for it. There's no question about that. But, you know, let's let's see how he does moving forward. But, you know, I'm hoping that it's a 3-3 three and three night for the Rays at the end of tonight rather than a 2-4 and four night at the end of tonight. And it really is all up to them. 888-546-4620. Look at, you, look at your freaking text. I'm going to get into a couple of your texts, too, at 82945. The final drive is coming up in a matter of moments. But first, guys, I want to tell you about my good friends over at Catania Catania, the personal injury law firm. They've been doing their thing more than 30 years. They don't get paid unless you get paid. They work on that contingency. So whether it's a car accident, motorcycle accident, truck accident, if you've been victimized by Rasheed Rice, you know, get on the phone. Catania Catania is the ticket. Protect your rights. That's what they've been doing. They're fierce, they're tenacious, they've got a proven track record of success. So call them, tell them I sent you. 813-222-8545. That's 
8545 or hit them up online. Get a free evaluation of your case at Catania and Catania.com. Because over at Catania, Catania, they put families first. Office tap by nine attorney spokesman. The final drive. I think we witnessed greatness last night. Women's college basketball is not a sport that a lot of us will watch with regularity. But I think much of the country was watching last night. Why? Because Caitlin Clark might be the greatest women's college basketball player that I've ever seen. And she showed why last night. 41 points, 12 assists against an LSU team that was trying to gear up and stop her. Angel Reese, we know about the back and forth between those two. And I thought Caitlin Clark handled it well. And Reese, not so much in the post game. She's crying. People are picking on me. Gee, I wonder why. Maybe you can go out there and be a little more professional. Uh, you know, the, the whole ring thing, or whatever the hell she was doing last year. You were a show off. You know what? If you're going to be that flamboyant about it, you better be prepared to take it when the tables get turned on you. But the bottom line is this. I watched Caitlin Clark basically one against five last night take down a really good LSU team by herself. She is great. Maybe the greatest that I've ever seen. The final drive. Yeah. Damn. Are you professional or not? I am. I'm trying to be. You know, you got to ask what's her face, Angel Reese. And look, I, I think a lot of the criticism that she gets and look, being in 2024, social media is really just out of control. Can we all just agree to that? With that being said, a lot of the abuse that she's been taking maybe is not justified. But here's the but, though. When you conduct yourself in that manner, when you're shoving it in everyone's face as much as she was doing last year with Caitlin Clark and everything else and waving goodbye and all that, you know, when Angel fouled out of that game, you know, I saw the one player from Iowa, hey, hey wave goodbye. You got to be prepared to take it, man, because what goes around comes around in life. Sports, life, what have you. That's exactly how that goes. Uh, I'm trying to read some of these texts. I don't know what the hell that guy's talking about. T. Kraz, I know you're not totally sold on Victor Hedman just yet, but he's only two points behind Blackjack. Fifth in the fifth in NHL defense with seven. What do you mean I'm not sold on Victor Hedman? What the hell are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm not sold on Victor Hedman. What do you got? Rocks in your head? Come on. Maybe that guy is referring to an interview I did with Victor Hedman like ten years ago. Literally 10 years ago when he first got into the league. And what'd you say, Tom? Well, I questioned his, like everyone knows, like he's a great offensive defenseman. I'm like, hey, you know what? Defensively, sometimes your play leaves a lot to be desired. Do you agree? He said, absolutely. He agreed. Absolutely. That was like 10 years ago. Where the hell have you been the last 10 <laughs> years? What are you, hibernating? Victor, the, Victor Hedman is going to be, you know, Hall of Famer, one of the all-time greats. You freaking people. I want to thank Zach Littell for joining me. Great job, Chris Mathis. We're on tomorrow after the Rays afternoon game around 4 to 4.30. Mike Florio tomorrow, right? Absolutely, 4.30. And he'll join us tomorrow. We got Would You Rather tomorrow as well. Ronnie Lane with pass ball is up next. Rays baseball is here. You're dismissed. Enjoy. Come on, get out of here. Did you hear what this man said to me? I have witnesses. This man is physically...